Facebook is uh, Nigeria Info, Info FM. Space. FM. Yes, space. Nigeria Space Info Space FM. Yes, nine nine three. Nine nine three. Something. Yes, Nigeria Space Info. Yeah, I think nine 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 yeah. yeah, nine. Yeah, just three, just nine, look nine, for the one that has the nine, nine, live nine, icon on it. Yes, yes. yes. you will see live. C- click on live. We are also. Um, and we're, I think we are also. Tr- um, are we also streaming on Twitter? Yeah, we gotta get confirmation. Uh, yeah. Maybe embedding our YouTube live yeah. stream on Twitter. On Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tunde is the guy whose voice you will not hear, uh, but uh, his uh, his. Every bit a gangster as any of us. Yeah, he's actually industry. not supposed to come to the office today, but yeah. uh, he, he knows how he got the job. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. I, I, he, know, he knows, he knows how that. he might lose the job. To, yeah. So he's trying to avoid it. Tunde, he's, an, he's an amazing we guy. We hear you. He's getting yeah, fat, yeah, right? Brilliant the way. guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not body shaming you. It's just like Star boy. Yeah. Uh, fat. I don't know. Spending too much time with Bucci on Okala. Yeah. All right, guys. So let's go into it. I have. Um, a number of things to look at. So let's mm-hmm. go into the game. Uh, the team sheets are already out. By the way, uh, they're the spread across the matches we would uh, prioritize. Sarah Phillips yeah. looking at me with, you know, one eye. Mm. I gave her the relegation battle. <laughs> you know, if, if you want to be this, if you mm. actually want to be unique and distinct, mm-hmm. you want to be top of the broadcasting chain, you've got to be able to mm. ensure that West Ham against Aston Villa feels like Chelsea against Manchester United. And I've been Preaching. doing that also. Yeah, so, you know, she complained when I said, that's your seat. <laughs> Go, look at the paper there. Leave, leave our store to Chuba and she Chelsea wants, to She Nandy. wants to be staring at yeah, my youth. Way, so, uh, Chibre is the man <laughs> without a fixture, but the good thing about Chibre today is that he's the goal rush guy. Yeah. He has the eyes for you know all the match centres, while well, Sarafina should be I focused on the West Ham United Villa game. Chuma has the Arsenal fixture covered, mm-hmm. and Namdi with the game at Stamford Bridge. I sold William, so just, <laughs> just, say, <laughs> just go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready, certainly for the coverage. Yeah, well, you you do have Kane though. I, I've yeah. always loved him. It's, it's one of the reasons why because I'm sentimentally yeah, I'm sentimentally attached to my fantasy players. So mm. when others are shipping out players okay. based on performance, I mm-hmm. still keep mine because I like them. Mm. And now today, four of those players are on the bench. <laughs> four of them. One man who's yet to score since match day 15, the Everton striker, Dominic Cavalier, is on the bench. For what? Crazy for what? Stuff. It's crazy, Femi. Crazy. Mm. But we're ready for the games. The lineups are out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're out. Uh, yeah. But uh, even just before we go into the lineups, uh, for those of you who aren't clear, there is actually more drama at the bottom yep. of the yeah. table than at the top. We do know yeah. that whatever happens, Liverpool, City, Guaranteed. and one of United and Chelsea will at least be in the Champions League. It's up to Leicester City to stop the party. And the only way they can stop the party is by stopping Man U. There could be monumental heartbreak Check. today. Monumental heartbreak. Man. United only need a point. They only need a point. And Leicester will be bye-bye. Chelsea have a very difficult task against Wolves. They are no easy meat. But the question is, what exactly are Wolves fighting for? Well, they want to play Europe yeah. and all of that. They look almost assured of a place in Europe. I don't know. However, we've seen Liverpool, um, Chelsea turn up the heat in crucial moments, just as we've seen them disappoint. So the real danger at the top is Man United up against a Leicester City. If they don't run away as quickly as possible, if they are dragging this do me, I do you thing until late in that game, there could, could be heartbreak. But the r- place where the real drama is, is bottom there. Norwich City are all are out. They're Norwich, they're Norwich. They're Norwich. They're Norwich, they're Norwich. Norwich, Norwich. Norwich, oh, Norwich. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Norwich, Norwich. But look at the teams. Three teams. Three, yeah? Yeah. Two of three are going down. And it come. It will likely come down to goals difference. I will talk more on that later. But that is why F- uh, Sarafina is the most important person here very, today. Very. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she understands. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me. Because, because, you know, it's 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 not the usual end of season coverage for mm-hmm. me. Just you know, just going through the prep and. You know, I, I can't remember the last time it, it was the final day of a Premier League campaign or any top flight league and you don't have the cameras potentially hoping, waiting to pan on the fans who would shed tears. Mm. I'll never forget a child at the Sunderland Stadium back then when they got relegated to the championship. So it will be Zoom fans, Zoom tears, mm. possibly. Because <laughs> you know, when Ida Bournemouth, who 
I think we'll go down, get relegated. I think Villa will survive. That's why that game is crucial against Western United. Yeah. That's where the excitement will be. Honestly, I don't think Watford can get anything at the Emirates Stadium against the Gunners. And I honestly don't see Bermot beating Everton at the Goodison. Well, Chidebiri has done an excellent job of production for this final day broadcast. And I, I would be doing a, a disservice if I didn't uh, stick to the script. Because it's a beautiful one, and which will guide us throughout uh, this broadcast. Uh, we've mentioned it, but just to be clear, and in the open, Chelsea, Leicester City and Manchester United are battling it out for the final two group stage spots. There is a possibility only the top three would qualify for the Champions League. And that's if the two major European club trophies are both won by English teams who finish outside this season's top four. That's an interesting scenario to look at. Why is that? And that's because there can be a, there can only be a maximum of five English teams in the Champions League. So say, for instance, uh, Man City wins the Champions League. Yeah. And our brothers... United? Uh, win the Europa. Yeah. Wolves? Yeah. Yeah. Man United. <laughs> Man United. Oh, Wolves. Oh, Wolves. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine that... Um, United or Manchester United or Wolves, it, it, you know, if Wolves were to win it, yeah. hypothetically, if they were to win it, that would mean, well, only the top three in the league will finish. Is that clear? If it's not clear enough, let's break it down again. If Chelsea win the Champions League, Wolves win the Europa League and neither finish in the top four, yeah. Chelsea and Manchester United cannot both finish outside the top four by the way some say i don't know unless leicester does something about it then both sides will qualify for next season's champions league and fourth place in the premier league would only earn a europa league spot that's what it means however that is all extremely unlikely given that chelsea were thrashed three nil at home by bayern munich in the first leg of their champions league last 16 tie we don't know what magic they can still spring mm -hmm. up. But however, Liverpool Liverpool came back from a 3-0 bashing at the hands of Barcelona last season. You can't wish football away. You can't explain it. You can't bet your uh, life savings on the outcome of football. You just do the reasonable thing like Emmanuel encourages. Stake, yeah, that, that's Martin's um, stake, acronym. Stake liberally. I didn't say liberally. Okay, I didn't right. say liberally. Right. <laughs> stake wisely. Okay, stake small, small. Irrespective of money. probabilities. Uh -huh. so, by the way, very yeah. little. Really cool. <laughs> just to mention, if you want to stake, um, for the sake of this broadcast, mm -hmm. you do it with our friends at Action Bet at NG. Mm -hmm. We do need to, you know, hear from them. Mm -hmm. We've got to take a break. Um, while we return, I'm sure you'll carry on with the conversation. Yeah, I hope so. We need them to stay with I us hope for so. the next season. Either that yeah. or Chide Berry yeah. will come here <laughs> and, uh, you know, defile the, the studio <coughs> with uh, spiritistic... Femi. 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 You don't just Femi. Spiritistic. Femi. 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 You don't just see them. Statistic. They're yeah. here. You don't just That's see impressive. them. They're oh, here. they're here. They're, they're all over here. You so mean spiritistic. we're surrounded by... It. Today will come and break my hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, He's done break. something. He's done something. something. <laughs> <laughs> right after this, guys. Today we'll I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. So just uh, looking at how things develop, uh, we are just over a quarter of an hour to kick off on this final uh, day of the 2019-2020 season. And I'm looking at how these teams, you know, this, the big game we are focusing on, of course, is the Leicester United game. Um, Emmanuel, what 
is the United manager's head looking like at this time, as, as disclosed to us by his selection? Proud, proud to the selection, uh, he was on Man United TV for the pre-match press conference and he was you know, quite a brilliant. He, he sounded quite confident. He, I mean, the fact that Manchester United had, at a point this season, albeit the struggle, they recorded a win uh, at Old Trafford against Leicester City. It was a 1-0 victory, but it was crucial for United. And the fact that Onagi Bleed, the best uh, playing football team since Project Restart of the Premier League, they haven't lost the game. They've uh, been quite solid, except that FA Cup uh, disaster. Uh, surprisingly, most would say, but Chelsea were quite dominant and deserving the way of the victory. Based on the lineup, uh, it just tells one tale, Femi. United knew they can and sometimes cannot defend uh, with uh, Harry Maguire, so he's gone gong ho. If Leicester City come with their arsenal, uh, we as Manchester United are ready uh, to attack. Practically anyone you could think of is on the pitch at a Manchester United shirt from Paul Pogba to Bruno Fernandes to uh, the surprise package that is Mason Greenwood. Uh, so, you know, from the Manchester United perspective, it, it does seem Solskjaer knows the weight of this fixture. He knows they are Manchester United. If there's any tournament they should be playing season in, season out, it has to be the Champions League. Hmm. Very interesting. And um, he will seem to have come out with uh, some sort of a 4-5-1. Uh, two defensive uh, midfielders in front of a back four um, in this game today. Which is pretty typical when he's playing Pogba and Matic. Uh, in the name, the creativity and the shield that both of them can provide. He's not taking chances in that game uh, uh, um, today. Um, he's sticking with his familiar backline. Uh, central um, defense of Lindelof and Maguire. Uh, while uh, Williams, who we saw in that uh, last United game, I, you know, I wonder what the fans make of Williams at uh, um, left back in, in the absence of Luke, uh, Luke Shaw. Um, what's the confidence like uh, from, the, from the fans and followers? I mean, one, he's a United uh, boy, and there's something about you know, sentimental attachment with players from the academy. If uh, Marcus Rashford, who's United number nine now, uh, came off the ranks, had an opportunity under Luis Van Gaal, and that's something Solskjaer understands. For a man who's been with Fergie, who gave life to the Fergie Fleddings um, back in 99, who went on to win the treble, led by Beckham, Potts and Scholes. I think for the fans, they understand. They've seen Williams play this season and he hasn't done badly. Uh, Luke Shaw is a great asset. He will be a great miss, but I think so far he's come in and not plug and play entirely, mm. but he's minutely steadied the ship for Manchester United. It just means Harry Maguire and Lindelof, particularly Maguire, who is on the left side of United centre defence, would have to come and use his experience, but not his pace, because he's not one of the fastest defenders to aid Williams. Because I think, you know, with Albright in and uh, Jamie Vardy, he would try to exploit that position since Ian Acho is in there. Um, it will be a bit difficult for Williams, but he plays for Manchester United for me. And the mindset is there's no bigger team in England than Manchester United. But guys, you have got to say that United looks scary from an attacking point of view going forward. I mean, even leave out Pogba and the threat he poses. Uh, an offensive lineup that has Fernandez, Greenwood, Rashford, and Martial, because that is the lineup uh, that that uh, um, United are putting out there uh, today. It's hard to see. There are not many teams that this selection will not beat in the Premier League. Well, um, since uh, Project Restart, that has been the front line, and uh, they've done uh, uh, a fantastic job. You know, they've won teams. In fact, it got to a point they, they had uh, uh, three three goal uh, differences against teams that they played three times in mm. a row. Uh, it means that they score goals. Then, you know, excuses came in. They are burnt out. They are tired. Um, that's why they are, you know, dropping points uh, when they are supposed to win or they are dragging games in to win. Uh, but I think for now, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will tell his boys, this is the last game of the season. Um, it's We are either going hard or we're going home, uh, which is what it is for the boys now. Um, there is no next game. The next game will be in the Europa League, and which starts uh, sometime next month. So um, it's either we get this one, or we just forget it and and that's what he's done so he doesn't have any player to manage or any player to rest so he's thrown everyone in uh, likewise leicester city they've done the same thing they've thrown everyone in because they need the victory now for united it's either a draw or a victory for for leicester it's a straight out victory that's why you see a certain kilichi anacho in that same team it means we are also going out to get that victory so for um people are saying united have the mentality to 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 do this um 
I don't know, because last season we saw that all they needed to do was beat Chelsea at Old Trafford to qualify uh, for the Champions League, and that wasn't the case. Um, recently, we still saw them in the FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea, beat them and get into the final. We saw what happened. So this is also another defining moment in this United team season to show the mentality. They have talent, the world knows that. But how strong are you mentally in fixtures like this when you must win or when you must uh, get a point? Now, that's a big question, and uh, only 90 minutes will tell. Well, um, Chuma, Leicester are responding defensively. They are tightening up the screw at the back. A three-man central uh, defence uh, that has uh, Morgan, Julian, and, of course, John Evans, mm -hmm. uh, uh, with all Brighting and, and Thomas, uh, Thomas, um, so, uh, Thomas supporting um, down the flank. And they've just filled that. It's a typical... 3-5-2 formation. So, and, and even the 3-5-2, one of the two strikers, uh, Vardy and Ihene Acho, will be constantly dropping deep, dropping deep to add that extra steel in that midfield uh, that would uh, also uh, have uh, Tillemans uh, in DD. Yeah. Uh, and and Chowdhury. Uh, um, if you were the Le Leicester manager right now, you know that Man United are all nerves because they can make a mistake and they don't want to. They will come attacking. I mean, you you have coached a team that never won anything in Portafford. <laughs> um, what would you do? We're semi-finalists, come on. I, I got beyond the group stage of that competition. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no, no semi-final trophy. Why did you? <laughs> there's no semi-final trophy. Yeah, for the record, the Swan Cup in River State, for those who are wondering who want to employ me, I have a good CV on TV. Okay. Yes, but back ah. to radio right now. Don't <laughs> leave me! Back to radio, yeah, Femi. I, I think that at the start of the season, Leicester City would have been excited to be fifth best on the Premier League standings mm. and qualify for the Europa League. But then sometimes in life, when you set very high standards for yourself, it, it raises the expectation so high for you. And if you fail to live up to that expectation, it becomes a, a, a bit of an issue for you. And that's it. Before we had Project Restart, before the break-in action in the Premier League for about three months, Leicester City were closer to the top two sides in Liverpool and Manchester City than they were to the Chasing Park. And then we now had the restart of the season and they lost that spark all of a sudden. And this is where they are now. They've dropped too many points for anyone's liking. And I thought that their greatest undoing was that 4-1 defeat to AFC Bournemouth. If they had won that game, a game where they were leading by a goal to nothing, mm. we'll not be in this conversation of Leicester not qualifying because with a three-point three lead over these other guys, or two-point lead because they are one point behind these guys in Chelsea and Manu, they would have been almost home and dry at this stage. So I think that, yes, there's pressure coming to the game. Brendan Rodgers has found himself in this position before. And by that, I mean when he was boss of Liverpool. Mm. He came very close to winning the Premier League title and then they lost it all. So I'm sure he's learned his lessons from that. Went on to Scotland to coach Celtic and has won titles in Scotland, even though any, any coach can win something with Celtic in that country, I can imagine. And he comes into this one. He has the top scorer in the Premier League as things do stand in Jamie Uvardi. Who knows how to up the ante when he faces top side. So surely you can believe that Leicester have the arsenal, no pun intended, to score goals against Manchester United this evening. I think it's a case of, yes, United need a draw to be safe and to go on scathed at the end of this game. But Leicester are playing at home. Yes, they don't have the fans behind them. They still do have the belief that this is a team who had built what they built in the first half of the season before the break. And all they need to do is just to accentuate that quality. Yes, they may have lost Tottenham Hotspur by three goals nothing not too long ago, but it's now or never. A one new win is good enough for you. And I think Leicester have the ability, they've shown it during the course of the earlier part of the season that if their best comes to the fore, it can happen. There's still a man team there. He can always add the creative you know, spark to that team. There's, of course, the quality of the attacking guys already. Indeed, if he's on his day, he can help quiet the brilliance from Bruno Fernandes and co in the Manchester United midfield. I think it should be an exclusive encounter and anybody who writes off Leicester City's ambitions against United here because they think United have more experience does that as at his or, his or her own detriment as the case is. So I think that they're ready for this and there's a poor sitting game in prospect for us. As, yeah, go ahead. Just add quickly, yeah. um, the, the thing with Leicester is uh, they've had big issues um, since Soyuncu was uh, suspended. He picked up that red card against Bournemouth. I think it's been one of the big revelations for them this season. Of course, his talent was very clear last season, but he kind of came into the frame with Jaime Maguire uh, going to United. So, uh, he, he's been a solid rock for them so far this season. But him getting that red card, I, I think it's really affected them. And then you have, uh, an, you know, retiring Wes Morgan, 
who is just maybe playing his last few games. How many games has Wes Morgan played this season, you want to ask? So he still looks rusty for me anytime I see him play Wes Morgan, playing alongside Johnny Evans. But the main man who's been a you know major linchpin for that Leicester City defence has got to be the Turkish Soyuncu. I think since his red card against Bournemouth, it's not really been the same for, for Leicester City. I, like, like Shima said, look at how they uh, were destroyed by Tottenham a few a few days ago. So I, I just think it's going to be difficult for them again today against United, even though they're playing at home. Uh, I've already seen it. Uh, Leicester will not be playing in Champions League, uh, Champions League football next season. But then, I mean, I'll allow, I'll allow the humans to do the permutations as we wait for the final results, Femi. Oh. Well, <laughs> whatever Chidiberi says, there's a possibility that Leicester City might draw today mm. and still play in Europe. Let's even forget the whole English clubs winning Champions League and Europa um, because it might not happen. It might not happen. City might mess up mm -hmm. uh, and Europa even less likely so. Uh, um, but if Chelsea lose to Wolves, and Leicester get a draw against United. So it's going to be United and Leicester who progress at uh, our Chelsea's, Chelsea's expense. E expense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, that uh, we are minutes away from, uh, uh, from uh, a kickoff. I, I just want to give you a slight taste just before, just a small taste. We are not breaking it because it's still rough. It's still, we're still in the studio <laughs> and jam. <laughs> It, it's, it's Grammy. Femi, I'm still beating you. <laughs> but it's a jam, it's a jam. It's a jam. We've not finished the recording. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we're bringing it home to finish the recording. Uh, um, so this is the rough cut of what we'll be, we'll be launching for the coming season. So uh, we're just saying thank you for joining this broadcast. You, you get to hear it before every, everyone else. Uh, even before Chideberry, I think. <laughs> Much, but we will bear our honor shield. And even though outnumbered a thousand men to one, we would give our all on the battlefield. <laughs> Field of achievement, every shot taken is a shot we believe in. Yeah. Working on a ton, good game, no cheating. Game got my heart, fair play, no deceiving. Yeah. I dump my eyes across my T's, I got the quality to still delete. Don't mind no adversity, staying on the straight path, you all follow me. Straight time, make believe. believe. Just believe me, yeah, you don't see me, yeah. We at the top, so we never gonna leave the set. <laughs> yeah, we never gonna leave the set. Hey, get your bookmakers, don't lose the bet. In the street, hear the voice, our needs are met. I said, our needs are met. This season, what do you expect? We're chasing glory on every front. They see us coming, they suspect. Well, let them tremble, that's what we want. If everybody play their role, one team united, one single goal. We'll rock the place before we leave. We can win this thing if we believe. Fly eagles fly, 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 fly eagles fly. It's a little foretaste, um, and it's still it's still in the works. It's uh, the latest Femi and the Gang anthem that uh, we'll be launching for the new season. Uh, uh, and when it's ready, you will know. Beautiful. All right, so the action beckons, and we respond as we go straight to the things that matter on the final day of football after 38 rounds of games, 11 months and countless, countless VAR debates, we finally wave goodbye to the 2019-2020 Premier League season today, here and now. It's a day of 
promising prospects of high drama at both ends of the table and potentially some late twists as the clock ticks down. It's the hallmark of the most watched domestic football league in the whole wide world and the symbol of the munificence of the world's number one game that we have all come to love so dearly. Bring on the 10 games to close out the COVID-19 tainted 2019-2020 season. The season which changed football forever, along with everything else the post-World War era has come to hold dear. And it's all here for the next two hours. We'll know, we'll know who will be joining Liverpool and Man City to play in Europe next season. And we'll figure out who will, who will be dropping sports for the likes of Leeds United and co at the bottom of the table. Welcome to the match proper as we go pitch side. Emmanuel is right by me. Sarafina is awesome and she will be showing us everything that goes down at the bottom. Arsenal are playing and whatever happens in that game, Chuma is fixated there. Chelsea have a date with Wolves. Namdi is at that stadium in the studio and of course the oracle is our eagle eye cherry he's the bird's eye view he's blessed with vision and so he's hovering in the skies above all of the united kingdom seeing every game and missing nothing his name chidebere uh, is a more i've forgotten his son <laughs> yeah uh, uh sorry uh, what's your son name again Family is Azimo of Sports. No you deserve long. your father. <laughs> no, no longer Anugolu. Your father is of sports. <laughs> no, no longer Anugolu. Uh, uh, apologies, Mr. Anugolu. You, you, you He's know, probably dead. To think that you threw that party when you gave birth to him. <laughs> well, I don't know. So welcome, guys. Uh, Emmanuel, yeah. here we go. I know you are tense. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tense I'm too. good. I'm, <laughs> and I feel like Silas Ferguson, who should be you know, at the King Pass Stadium, munching on his... Um, and it's gone. The players are ready. Uh, the quest to have either Leicester City in the Champions League of Manchester United or the odd case of both teams qualifying for the Champions League. Just a run through of the lineup uh, from that centre. Casper is the goalkeeper. They've got Evans, Morgan, and Justin. Uh, Tillemans, Ndidi, Chudbury, Albright, in Thomas up front. It's Vardy and Ayanacho, as the Brits call him, but Ayanacho. Uh, for Manchester United, it's David Ahead, the goalkeeper, Lindelof and Harry Maguire. It's important to mention, Femi, that Harry Maguire has officially become Manchester United's first outfield player to play every game in a Premier League campaign since 94-95. That was when Gary Pallister did it for United. So he partners Lindelof, there's Williams, we mentioned him, Matic, Pogba, Mason, Fernandes, Rashi and uh, Antonio Martial. That's the XI for both Leicester City and Manchester United. Thank you very much. So that features three changes for Leicester City uh, coming off their heavy, heavy 3-0 defeat to Tottenham. Uh, Hamza, uh, Chowdhury, Kaleche Inhenacho and Mark Albrighting, like Imano mentioned, are the guys who take the place, the places of uh, Josip Perez, Harvey Barnes and Ryan, uh, Ryan Burnett. Um, uh, from that earlier uh, fixture while as uh, Namdi had also mentioned uh, um, was it Namdi? No, it was Emmanuel actually um, about the fact that look United have been stable since after the restart I think Namdi did say something yeah. United can open the scoring Martial goes down referee Mike Dean looks away however there will be a review it would seem there's uh, some call offside already there well I wonder what uh, VAR, VAR would be looking at. Oh. Uh, okay, Martial was indeed offside. If he wasn't offside, the next thing would look at whether indeed there was contact there, whether we'd see a penalty in the first minute of action. And well, I'm, yeah, sorry, Femi, just before we head to the other match centers, just to mention he's got the countenance of Mike, but he's Martin Atkinson. That's the oh. man in charge of this fixture. Mike Dean is somewhere. I think the gods oh, yeah, have got an eye. Where, <laughs> where, where, oh, I forgot. Dean Mike Dean has actually changed his looks. He's all he's bearded now. And muscular also. Yeah, he's, he's been gymming. Building. Yeah, surprising though for a man who's... This coronavirus uh, <laughs> and lack of uh, exercise and stuff, perhaps. But uh, the action is everywhere. Uh, and um, Yeah, Dean is in charge of the Arsenal game, Femi. Mm -hmm. And Arsenal are having a bit of a penalty shout now. Uh, the man... 
is uh, asking for something more than what Ford can afford at this moment in Lacazette and Mike Dean is looking all old with the white beards and everything and he's the one in charge of this Arsenal fixture we're having the VAR check as I speak to you we've seen just over two minutes of action at the Emirates Stadium still goalless between Arsenal and Watford and uh, we're having the interim coach of Watford just a bit of trepidation going through his mind as they wait for the outcome of the decision from the video assistant referees Dawson was the guilty party uh, pulling down Lacazette who at the point was Hill and Hati but then had to go to the top for a while we're still having to pause our excitement for that and while it happens if you permit me I'll just run through the starting lineup for for that game mm -hmm. all right perfect stuff Arsenal, now the home team have nothing to fight for here but uh, just to play for pride because the best they can get will be an if list finish no matter how victorious they are this evening they have Martinez in goal for them who's in there in the absence of their regular number one who's still out injured in Bernard Leno David Luiz has really pro proved that he's, he's a quality defender. That's why the accusations that have gone his way for majority of uh, the, the, the season since after the restart. We have uh, Tierney. There's also Rob Holdings and Sons Limited, as I would love to call him. Uh, Holdings, of course, in defense two for us now. Granny Jack at Midland now as Mike Dean decides. Mm. He's just pointed his hand towards the direction and is keeping an angry face. I think that should be... A penalty for us now. Dawson is still complaining to Mike Dean as we have a chance to see the replay again one more time. Femi was across from the left side of attack for the Gunners by Pierre Enrico Obama Young. And Dawson had his elbow on the back of Lacazette's head. And Lacazette fell to the top. VAR have watched things over and over again. And the referee, Mike Dean, as the dean of the department, has opted to give us now. A penalty. Pierre Emerick Obama Young, the top scorer for the Gunners this season, is the man who's ready to take these. The Gabonese. He has in front of him the goalkeeper forward for four minutes into the game. Obama Young steps forward, takes a stride, and he scores for the Gunners. The first goal in the match that may just give us several as Watford keep fighting for survival. Obama Young announces his arrival. Taking the lead against his rival. And at this stage for Watford, they need a revival. It's Arsenal 1, Watford 0 after just five minutes. Well, Namdi is almost having a heart attack in that Ch Chelsea game. I'm wondering what you're saying. Well, uh, I've, I've seen uh, Wolves. It seems that they are the ones uh, who really need this uh, more than uh, the Chelsea side. They are the away team and it's really strange how Chelsea have set up. Um, similar formation, 3-4-3 three, three with uh, the Wolves side and Wolves are the ones asking the question. Matt Doherty uh, just went past Rudiger like he wasn't there but couldn't get past Zuma and uh, his uh, pass was blocked by Zuma and uh, they have uh, the corner kick um, that uh, Wolves, uh, they have been asking the questions, they have won every aerial ball, they have won every single thing and Chelsea are still uh, yet to uh, get into the game and uh, Chelsea are running for all the counter-attack with um, Mason Mount uh, just can't get past uh, his man. But just to let the Chelsea fans know, uh, the players on the pitch at Stamford Bridge, it is not kept by the keeper uh, between the sticks. It's really Caballero uh, for Chelsea. And uh, the back three, uh, Cesar Spilicueta, Antonio Rudiger and uh, Kurt Zuma. And uh, in midfield, four of uh, Rhys James, Jorginho and uh, Mateo Kovacic, not forgetting Marcos Alonso. And the front three, strange, Mason Mount plays on the right-hand side of the front three. Olivier Giroud and uh, Captain America, um, Pulisic, uh, he is uh, on the left-hand side. And for uh, Wolves, uh, who have been asking most of these questions, Rui Patricio is in goal, Willy Boli in defence, Conor Cody and Roman Saiz. And the midfielders, Madogetsi, Dendonka, Neves and Johnny. And uh, front three of uh, Diogo Jota, uh, Raul Jimenez and uh, Pedro Neto. So there is no João Moutinho uh, in this game for uh, Wolves. Uh, so uh, I think uh, Chelsea would say their midfield will rest easy. But I think uh, their defence will have to do a whole lot because uh, Willy Caballero hasn't had to do a whole lot of saving. But the Chelsea defence have, have come under so much fire. Of Femi at the St. James's Park, the goals are beginning to come in, not just out there at the Emirates Stadium. We've seen a goal at the St. James's Park, and it's the home side who have taken the lead against the league champions Liverpool. Dwight Gale with his fourth goal of the season, threw ball to him into the 18. It was one on one with Alison Becker, and he put that one past Alison Becker. It's Newcastle 1, Liverpool 0. Um, as regards the game between uh, West Ham and versus Aston Villa, mm. uh, Jagrelish is on fire uh, this afternoon. 
he's playing like this will be his last game for Aston Villa because it's more like he wants to fight on the pitch of play. Mm. Aston Villa, the away side, have been the one asking the questions. They've actually created more chances in this game uh, compared to that of West Ham that are playing at home. I would not be surprised if come the end of this game, Aston Villa happens to get all three points. Well, it will be um, really interesting. The goal that Arsenal scored is of major significance for Watford because that literally would almost translate to Watford going down if uh, the final whistle would blow here right now. There seems to be some other happenstance. The, 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 gods, the gods are lacking energy for me. <laughs> <laughs> the gods are gone to bed. I just got a call. I just got a call from Ultra, uh, from uh, the King Pa. I was just trying to respond to the call, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, some big that call. <laughs> <laughs> We've got front deck offices here. You know, you, it's people, it's your, the kind, your gods are the kind that Elijah was mocking. Like, maybe, did your gods go to the loo? Oh, come on, Femi. Not, not my gods, Femi. Okay. All right. But, but uh, good action out there at the King Pie. I've got to say, United have dominated. At least, um, <laughs> well, actually, after... Like he's supposed of to be at the Etihad Stadium oh, yeah, because something has happened. <laughs> Clearly, it's uh, Hernandez. <laughs> it's not for me. I, I, I was going to tell you that because <laughs> Hernandez, <laughs> Norwich are already relegated, Femi, but Hernandez <laughs> have just got the first goal for Norwich City. They are looking to stun Manchester City out there at the Etihad and it's the away side who have taken the lead, Cotty Hernandez. Man City nil, Norwich won after eight minutes of football played. Well, mere mortals to the rescue on that occasion. <laughs> yeah. We do have a situation in the game. We are seeing our very first booking in Henacho causing all sorts of problems for the United backline, line. Yeah, it was always going to happen. When the lineup uh, came out, Adam Nandy walking into the city, had that conversation. And I knew Henacho would be a tormentor uh, to Harry Maguire. He's not the paciest uh, of players, but Henacho has got that huge exuberance in him and somehow just been able to pluck a yellow card off the... Uh, Manchester United captain. The good thing is just inches away from the halfway line, so no pressure for United. Just in case you are not seeing this game on television, which is live, the lead game live on Super Sports 3, the other games scattered across the Super Sports um, um, tables, 10 matches, so you cannot miss any single one of them. Um, well, Leicester City, the home side, are playing from left to right in their all blue attire shirts socks shorts and all united are playing from right to left in their typically home jersey of red over white shorts and socks uh, attacking the goal to our left so you have that mental image free kick to united martial brought down it's 10 minutes played no goal here at the king's power and uh, it's not so certain what mr morgan is complaining about has lifted the Premier League trophy in his lifetime. Who would have thought it? Not any, not him, certainly. Not in a team like Leicester. But that's the story that the Premier League has given us in the last few years. Matic with the ball. United trying to push down uh, the left. Rashford has come deep. He's gotten the ball. Pogba is waiting for it. But he's blocked by Ndidi. Goes back to Rashford, who floats one in the general direction. Oh, must see how it was indeed. Uh, the young Greenwood who got in there and headed over the bar. But that was better thinking um, this time from the uh, United number 10. Sublime passing if it was just a tad low and Greenwood could take it down on his chest. Perhaps, perhaps that would be United first goal. Evans had his eye on the youngster. But no damage done now. Here come Leicester City. Uh, trying to gain a foothold of this game. Oh. The ball comes to Morgan. We've seen a situation somewhere. Yeah. That West Ham almost. Yeah, in, in the game between West Ham and Aston Villa, uh, Mikel Antonio almost, almost uh, opened the scoring for for the home side. Talking about West Ham, it was really a very good ball down from the uh, middle of the park to the final third, uh, and it was actually unmarked. I, I think the defenders for uh, Aston Villa at this point they need to understand that Mikel Antonio can be uh, can be deadly whenever he get the opportunity to score, yeah. and they left him totally unmarked. If he had scored from that position, I think there was nothing you could have done to the goalkeeper because the defenders, they did not do their job. But then again, still nil-nil. 
So Femi, there's a goal to report and it's out there at the Etihad. Remember, I reported the goal a few minutes ago. Humans were telling me to report. I knew it was going to be chalked off because that goal from Norwich, number 11, has been chalked off. And VAR had a review and it's been chalked off. But uh, there's a legitimate goal scored there now and it's in favour of the home side, Manchester City. They've taken the lead and it's Kotsi Gabriel Jesus. Good work from the right-hand side. Uh, it was a good low pass from that angle and Gabriel Jesus it was a rough goal but he finally got it in and it's Manchester City 1, Norwich nil out there at the Etihad. And Danny Welbeck he's trying to score for Watford at the moment it's uh, well great save by Arsenal's goalkeeper Martinez some good play Femi from Watford from the right side of attack the ex-Arsenal man in Welbeck started the action for them eventually the ball found his way towards the left side it was Arsenal's goalkeeper Martinez coming through with a good save using his right foot to save the blushes of his side. As it stands right now, United and Chelsea are in the Champions League pending anything happening beyond. And Watford go down with Bournemouth and Norwich City. Aston Villa are, well, still relatively safe. Um, but they do need to get the job done to be sure, um, away um, to West Ham. There is a situation in the land of the gods. Well, clearly, Femi, it's uh, at Messi's side. Though Liverpool are not playing there today, but it's Everton who are the home side at the God Team Park. And uh, clearly, they've conceded penalty handball in the area for a, a player for the opposition and Bournemouth, clearly. I think it was uh, Wilson, I'll confirm that, who tucked that one at the back of the net. It's the home si away side who lead against Everton at the God Team Park. Everton nil, Bournemouth won, and it's indeed a clinical finish from the sports from the Bournemouth player. Remember, for me, they are fighting for their lives in relegation water, and uh, well, clearly, is the best way to start a game. And surely, they've taken lead away from home at the Godson Park. I came dangerously close to cutting you off there, because while you were ah. painting that picture, um, United almost went down to a ferocious and DD strike, which just went wide. Uh, it just tells you how delicately balanced uh, these uh, games are. Leicester and playing, a quarter of an hour of football played. Uh, they are at home and they haven't been generous in any way to so United. Been, I think, you know, it's, it's pretty much um, a fixture. They understand the significance of them. They've been champions before, so I don't think they will be... Well, and boosted by Manchester United's <laughs> presence, uh, they've, they've done decent for themselves. That opportunity, if it had gone less this way, Femi, it would be all criticism to Nemanja Matic. The, and of course, Paul Pair, the back passing for United, it's just completely unnecessary, but they do have a corner to take. United uh, taking that corner from the left of their attack. But, uh, some of the Leicester City players not very happy, not sure whether. The angst is against teammates or the officials or the opposition. Fernandez will take. He's floated it into the box. It's headed out of Rasim by Evans. No, indeed it was Thomas who got ahead to it. And defense becomes attack. Those long punt forward as they keep the ball now. Albrighton, Ihenacho is waiting and calling for it. But Albrighton takes his time. Uh, goes back to Tillemans who's trying to keep the ball in midfield Evans now Morgan finds Justin to his right and Chowdhury will go uh, all the way back to Justin as they take their time this Leicester the ploy they are uh, uh, employing uh, seems to be well uh, rather understandable Take your time, don't rush. What's going down, Chidabiri? Femi, mean, let's go straight to the Sellers Park. Is action. And uh, like I said earlier, it's going to rain goals today because the wayside Tottenham Hotspur will have taken the lead against Crystal Palace. And it's that man, Harry Kane. Good work done by Lo Celsio. Harry Kane from the left hand side in the 18, tucked it away. And you've got to say, he's a man who is in form. He scored his 18th goal this season. And this time is against Crystal Palace. And that's just after 16 minutes of football played. And Leicester City coming close again, Albrighton this time going wide as United um, beginning to seem a little less confident than in the earlier exchanges. Leicester City growing into this one. 
Here comes Pogba in midfield. We'll float the ball down left. Where Williams has it. Rashford collects. He floats another one into the box. And great running by Fernandez. But there is nobody to connect. The ball just squared. Uh, for Tomas to clear. I keep going uh, the Tomas way. Vardy has a one-on-one -on -one thing. On this occasion with Lindelof. But United managed to clear their line. I will not. Uh, you know, I will not fail to continue to struggle with Thomas and Thomas, the Ghanaian guy. Um, There's no party after party. No this party time, no. after party. It's uh, it's uh, it's young Thomas uh, for Leicester City. United with a throw midway into opposition territory. Williams to take. He's waiting for help. It's not coming early, so this throw is taking more time than necessary. Finally, uh, finds assistance in Greenwood, who's uh, forced to come really deep. Wambisaka finds Pogba. Back to Wambisaka on the right. Fernandez calling for it. It's Pogba who takes it. Quick one two between he and Wambisaka. As uh, he almost gives the ball away. Pogba can float into the box. It comes. Well, quick. Thinking and movement by Schmeichel to come collect. The intent for United seems clear. Float those long, long balls behind uh, the defensive pairing of, of, Mo of Morgan Evans and Justin and try to use the pace of Masia or uh, Fernandez or uh, uh, the pace of, of the young Greenwood to catch them napping, Emmanuel. Absolutely, Femi. I'm not sure that's the right strategy to going to go past this Leicester defence well more trouble for United now Leicester come catching masterful tackling by Wambisaka and United can turn the fence into offence but Fernandez is all alone no way says Thomas Fernandez is well really miffed at the referee he wanted something there wasn't given here comes Leicester Chowdhury in the centre circle he comes down right to all Brighton's territory. Ihenacho comes deep, sells a dummy, and takes out Matic. Goes left, where a quick interchange with Tillemans causes United trouble in their box. But Williams will look to clear. Finds Matic, uh, whose pass intended for Rashford uh, couldn't connect because Rashford was brought down for a free kick to United. It was always going to be exciting, Kelechi Ihenacho, a fleet footed player, and it's, he's uh, silenced you know, Manchester United. A hater, sort of, since uh, his days playing for Manchester City. That in a rivalry is still there, and uh, he understands the strengths the United team possess. One of the uh, vir videos that went viral was he and a chore just going through live score and you know checking what Manchester United played and uh, when did he told him well United won. He said um, did Bruno score? Well, he always scores. He said, uh, but it's good to see the manager you know trust him to start in a very very. A consequential fixture for Leicester City. I think Leicester, in all fairness, in terms of possession count, which is just evident now. United have it there, but in terms of chances created uh, leading to potentially a goal, it's been more of Leicester City uh, in this fixture after about 20 minutes of action. I'm just thinking to myself, Emmanuel. The While you think, please, the thinking will come later. Martial almost opening the scoring for United. Well, that was defending with some fortune. Uh, spl split open passing almost letting uh, the Frenchman through back to you Chuma yeah the thought of mine was the legendary goalkeeper for Manchester United Peter Schmeichel who's he going to be supporting at this time mm. his son in Leicester or the team that he loves so much in Manchester I think he will sit on the fence nah he just has to go forward uh, wait until somebody hurts his son you will know where his heart really is <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, well, well, I'm sure the Chelsea fans will be saying nothing happening at Stanford Bridge. <laughs> the truth is, nothing is happening <laughs> because uh, they're they are just playing. It, it's like um, both teams are playing the same formation. They understand how they play here. Yeah. Um, no much uh, goal mouth action. No much uh, passes to the forward men. Olivier Giroud has been starved of of uh, of the ball. Um, Jimenez on the other side has been starved of the ball as well. We've been seeing more of. Uh, Kovacic in the middle, we see more of Neves in the middle and uh, nothing, more of the wingers getting the ball and uh, you know we're hoping something can, can come out of this as Chelsea come forward, the Olivier Giroud uh, but his pass to Mason Mount is uh, poor and that is the first time I'm actually seeing him uh, well, on the Olivier, ball. If Olivier Giroud is the one 
bringing the ball forward. He's not going to go very far. Um, he, he is better off when he's on the receiving end of that final ball. And finally, the first year look out for me before you go on uh, in that game, Diogo Jota. Um, has been booked uh, by the referee. He's fouled on says Aspiliqueta. The referee saw that. Pretty harsh and he says, you go into my book. Well, Sarafina taking a look at that basement battle going on down below. A very twitchy day. If you're a Bournemouth, Aston Villa, Watford fan, two of those three will join relegated Norwich in the championship next season. The Cherries have got to win at Everton to stand any chance of beating the drop. While Villa face West Ham, knowing they have to equal Watford's result to stay up. Although just a two-goal swing in the Hornets' favour would mean they keep their uh, Premier League status up. Uh, uh, you have your eyes on that game involving Aston Villa. Make no mistake about it. It could all be decided by goal difference down there. What are the gods of Chidebere telling you? <laughs> uh, uh, first of all, I can't find the, the gods of Chidebere at this point. The gods have decided to go to Aswani Market. <laughs> As regards this game, the game has gradually opened up because the Aston Villa players and also that of the West Ham who have been struggling all, all through this game, they've been able to understand that we are playing at home. We need to survive this relegation. So let's take the game to the Aston Villa players. That's what they've been doing thus far in the game. So for me, it's been a 50-50 kind of game. This side taking it to the other side. And that's it. Not much of a clear-cut chances have been created. Uh, the likes of Antonio has been brilliant on the pitch, but then again, it's just Mikel Antonio. He cannot do everything by himself. He needs other players to come to the fore and help him get the, the goal he, he deserves. So, at this point, they have been doing what they want to do, but nothing yet. The only side that have come close to actually scoring is that of West Ham through Mikel Antonio. Well, United almost scoring again, but Leicester break through here, Nacho. Vadi to his left. Oh, well, he has a rival to his right in the person of Justin, but he's made a hash of it. And the goalkeeper makes a double hash of uh, saving the ball, Mr. De Gea. But the referee has already called time on that action. Well, United came close, came close to going down. De Gea Nacho perhaps should have released the ball a little sooner. And a bit confusing when you've got a player running on the left inside and another on the right inside. For a striker, you need a second to make that decision. In all fairness, I thought he could have given Jamie Vardy, who had... Well, he's run himself offside just an inch, but then again, Kelechi Nacho, there's this desire to be on the score sheet. Terrible decision from the Nigerian. This could have been that perfect opportunity for Leicester to go one up. Well, Arsenal are making the right decisions and they've doubled their lead against Watford. At this stage, it looks like, uh, I don't know if I can use the word on radio, the cajones of uh, the Watford team is being tested now. I'm wondering Thank what Troy Dini is thinking Thankfully, about there are not the many moment. Spanish people listening. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, you know, but, but it is uh, Christian Tieni, the young talent for Arsenal, who has converted that opportunity across from the right side of attack by Pepe. Uh, Pierre-Emerick Obama Young had the perfect control in the penalty area of Watford and then just lit the assist and the pass to Tierney who picked his spot with his left foot, put it beyond goalkeeper Ben Foster and it is Arsenal to Watford Neil after 25 minutes. Midway point in those games, Chidebere, what are you seeing? Ofemi, a tough ball, we've seen a goal and it's a very important goal for the away side, Aye. Brighton and Hove Albion because Yves Besuma has just gotten the goal and surely Femi this will be contending for I will be going in for goal of the season in contention for it because it was a corner kick from the left hand side it was taken short the ball looked like as though the home side were going to mount a counter Burnley but then Yves Bissouma got the ball just a few yards from the arc and then struck a thunderbolt of a strike it's the away side who have, have now taken the lead against Burnley it's Burnley nil Brighton won and Brighton are currently out of relegation waters. You know, Femi, it's uh, the water break at Stamford Bridge, but uh, I don't know why they are drinking water. <laughs> they haven't done anything they have, they have not, for 25 nothing. minutes. Fact, they haven't done anything, and I wonder why they, they shouldn't be exhausted, really. Uh, but, 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 but they are back now. Hopefully, they do something for the next few minutes. Mm. 26 and a half minutes played here. The gods are whispering in Chidi Berry's ears. <laughs> yeah, surely. It's a big whisper, Femi, because, uh, look, it's the end of the season, Femi. We're going no, to see goals are rumor -mongers. everywhere. They don't carry rumors, they carry news. Oh, okay. Yeah, Femi, because uh, out there at uh, the Southampton Stadium, they, they might be the Saints, uh, but uh, there's nothing saintly with them conceding uh, very early in the first half because the away side, it looks like a day for the away side because Sheffield United, who are away to Southampton, they've taken the lead. John Lundstrom has gotten the first goal for the away side, Sheffield. Oh, and after 27 minutes of football played, is Southampton nil, 
Sheffield United won, Kotsi John Lostrom. You know, Femi, it's quite ironic that the two match centres where goals are required are the two match centres without a goal so far. Chelsea against Wolves and a commentary fixture at the King Park Stadium. Do you have Harry Kane in your team? I always have Harry uh, Kane. Certainly, he scored, he, scored, had, yeah. he scored one for Tottenham. Yeah. It looks like the start of the day where he could score more than... Yeah. I, I, was, I, I, I thought he was going to score no less than a brace today. He could do a hat trick on days like this. Oh, yeah. The last two games of every season, Harry Kane just takes over. Uh, uh, you know, so let's see how it goes for. 27 minutes played. It's goalless at the King Park. United have slowed down, and it's um, you know a little disturbing for the fans. Uh, Emmanuel here, yeah. Namdi here, Sarafina here. Their bloods are hot and red. Uh, I can <laughs> imagine rest, restlessness in the land. You know, you can't go into any more unnecessary tackles or just being uh, uh, too excited, Harry Maguire. He's on a yellow card for me and he meant, you know, if they want to take him on a run, he kind of bring them down. Uh, it's, 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 it's a problem United would have to find a way to solve because there's still about 60 plus minutes left in this game and United centre half who's been tested twice Harry Maguire now understands you know, what it means not to pick up early yellow cards if you want to do it ensure that the player doesn't get up but unfortunately the man he brought down picked up that yellow card is still on the pitch tormenting him uh, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's almost half an hour of action played and a con concern on the face of David he knows it he knows um, see all you want about his incredible years at Manchester United it hasn't been this season in the last two uh, campaigns in the Manchester United shirts. This doesn't look like the man the entire world celebrated when the fax machine broke down on the night he was supposed to move to the Santiago Bernabeu. He also has the sun in his face in this first half. As Leicester City come again, all brighting down the right. He's got three waiting in the box. Where he's headed clear by the man Yamatic, who's uh, coming there to support Evans now for Leicester. They're controlling the ball and keeping it in United's half. Ihenacho goes down, dropped off the ball. It would seem by Wambisaka. Martial couldn't keep it. And Justin will play alongside Evans. We'll just literally slow down the game. The C ploy. The, the views here. Thomas back to Evans. Morgan. Uh, wanted the ball, but uh, he went to the goalkeeper, Schmeichel, who finds Justin. It's uh, kick and start football. 30 minutes on the clock. Leicester nil, United nil at the King Power. And uh, Leicester losing the ball midway at the halfway mark for a United throw. Pogba wants it, but then again that. Um, lack of urgency on the United side. Wambisaka. Williams has it now going down left, finds Rashford, who some would like to see in a, perhaps more in the in the Leicester box. Williams down left. Bruno Fernandes has it. Pogba's calling for it. Gets it. Wambisaka to his right. Feeds him. And the ball goes. We'll see to Fernandez, uh, to Greenwood, who's uh, the furthest man forward. He tries to sell one for Pogba. But Leicester look to take it off again. Matic claiming the ball. Double teaming with uh, Bruno Fernandez there. Williams goes to the right. Where Wambisaka is. Greenwood has got two on him. Tillemans, one of them. And uh, Pogba is the recipient who will try to centralize the play for Fernandez who tries to unleash Martial cut out on this occasion yet again uh, I shout by uh, the head of uh, Albrighton who's uh, come deep to defend for his side but still United now in Leicester's half Pogba sells the dummy and takes out Ndidi Wambisaka is to his right where he goes into the box. Fernandez collects and scores. United take the lead in the 32nd minute, but it will not stand. The referee's assistance flagging for offside. Well, there will be a VAR review 
But that was creditable thinking by the Frenchman. And yes, he was a good day. A foot and a half offside, if you ask me. He needed to wait a while. And Pogba needed to have released it just a fraction of a second sooner. I mean, Manchester United uh, gradually showing that if they have an opportunity to hurt Leicester City, they, they will do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have Leicester, City, <laughs> Leicester <laughs> City telling them they too could. Vardy <laughs> running at United defenders. It's, it's frightening. It's the worst nightmare scenario. The worst one. Well, well Femi, uh, we've seen just a little over half an hour of football played. And uh, the well, match the 38 clearly. Final day of the season. Just to run you through what the scoreline looks like in the other nine centres we're monitoring. At uh, the London Stadium, West Ham United nil. Aston Villa nil. That centre, we've seen no goals. Uh, just like for our feature game, Southampton. Uh, trailing at home at the St Mary's against Sheffield by solitary goal and uh, Newcastle also who are leading against Liverpool by one goal to nothing if we want to get more reports at uh, the Emirates it looks like Arsenal yeah. have just increased their lead it was a throw from the left hand side from Kerry Tien is a long throw in there for him he found Obama Yang and is a sweetest back uh, how do you call it now is it overhead kick, a, overhead kick strike you see Femi Obama Yang brought it down he had uh, the number four shirt right behind him but had other ideas the Gabonese I uh, just took it overhead and got that one past the goalkeeper is now Arsenal three what for nil at the Emirates He's taking a claim for that uh, highest goal scorer uh, yeah. uh, competition I think he was third on the list coming third. he's now joined with Jamie Vanny he's, he had 21 goals he had 21 into... coming and he's scored twice now yeah he's scored what uh, yeah, actually he had 20 20 so, 20, he's, 20, so right he's got 22 now he needs one more to equal Jamie Vardy I yes. think the sad thing is for, for Watford at this moment because they needed to better the result of Aston Villa whatever the case is Villa still playing that draw in the game so I feel is watching just helping their cause exactly and Watford already having a minus three extra as regards to goal difference which was already terrible compared to Aston Villa so at this case and at this stage I think they, they need a miracle and, and they're, they're downturn they're, remember this was the side that beat Liverpool first yeah. the first team it's to total, and it wasn't just it wasn't just beating them it, they they totally humiliated they Liverpool. were the better team on they that were the day. better team and three, they three nil score line, three nil score yeah. line. And, I, and I think I think it went down south for them uh, uh, with the um, what's the name the Ayo uh, sending off yeah. mm. um, what's that game again where he picked that red card and they lost a game they should have won mm. and think things went um, south uh, for them the younger are you and Jordan. then sacked their manager Jordan are you yeah yeah for, I, uh, for, for me that was a major major turning point yeah. uh, pa Palace and their struggles on, on, on that one but for what for you know they've also had their own fair share of issues too with their captain Troy Dini the moment we were getting ready for the restart he had said that he had a young baby at home and he didn't want to play for them because of fear of contracting COVID-19 and taking it back home and of course people had to prevail on him to eventually play for them and since after the restart they have not been the same after that victory against Liverpool 3-0 on the 29th of February Watford have won just two of nine fixtures which is terrible very terrible for a side who are trying to survive yeah you're right Emmanuel uh, 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 the Ayo brothers yeah. uh, Crystal, that, Palace. Uh, uh, Crystal Palace situation in that game against um, Watford a again for yeah it, it, it was a turning point for them but also it, it was um, you you know uh, um, how Watford's fortune did, then suddenly take, took a, a nose dive after the high uh, the amazing height of, of them stopping Liverpool the way they did we, we were seeing some concerns for Fernandez who's uh, had uh, uh, to be looked at on the sideline yeah just just to stamp on the uh, Portuguese maestro uh, Bruno Fernandes, he's going to be fine. He's on the touchline, just um, fixing his lace in his boots. He will be able to carry on. Uh, just to mention, to ease the job for Sarafina, is that you know now she's only going to be uh, focused on two teams. That's AFC Bournemouth and Aston Villa. Watch forward, are condemned to play in the championship next season. Well, no other club knows how to play final day of the season uh, football better than United. They share uh, the highest... Um, win ratio of about 67 percent with uh, one other team. Uh, so Liverpool. I'm not sure they, they, they shared they shared with one other team. However, Leicester City 
have lost on the final day only once in the last 12 seasons. They've won seven of their uh, last uh, uh, 12 final day fixtures, drawing four. United can hurt them now, but the defence does it, its job. Matic has the ball now. Greenwood, fleet-footed as you like. And all of a sudden, he's come out of nowhere. And his name is an illustrious company, Greenwood. Greenwood. Came out from the woods. From the woods. Yeah. And now you're, he's, he's, he's shaking body with some of uh, uh, the greatest uh, young scorers for United. Here he comes now with his left foot. Martial has it. Fernandez supplies. Comes all the way to Williams on the left. Pogba just in front of him. Gets him. Tries to send a quick turn. Rashford goes to ground. Referee says play on. And defense becomes attack quickly. Now, as Tillemans looks to unleash, but there is no way to go. They are forced back to their goalkeeper, Leicester City. 38 minutes played. No goals at the King Power. But there is action elsewhere, Chidebere. Ofemi action clearly at the St. James's Park. And though Liverpool might have won the title, they are not going down on final day of football in the Premier League because they've got an equaliser against Newcastle. It was a cross from the right-hand side. It looked like it was the former Arsenal player, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. And there was a swift cross in there for Virgil van Dijk, who rose highest in the 18 to slot home for Liverpool. It's now Newcastle 1, Liverpool 1. We'll be checking some of your comments. Emmanuel, uh, we, might, we would be checking WhatsApp, uh, you know, yeah. if that is the sign. It's there, it's uh, there beside you, Femi. Yeah, uh, Twitter. Left. Yeah. Twitter, by the way, has been busy and talking. Uh, Salami Doski says the hair is a time bomb <laughs> waiting to explode. I just do not trust him anymore. Uh, Solotone for real. I beg Man United should better qualify you because I wouldn't want Sarafina to drop her nude. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, wait, wait, I beg, yeah, oh, bring yeah. me up to speed. What's going on? Hey, don't I worry, no don't, don't, don't worry, just go on. Ah. Just go on, go Oh, on. you've already yapped. <laughs> I'm happy for you. I'll be waiting. Uh, uh, even you too. Yes, now, when you were, when you were, when, when you were saying, when you were daring, you didn't know. <laughs> no. I, I hope, uh, well, uh, well, let's leave it there. Femi, the great, the great pundit, uh, that early yellow card to Maguire is going to hurt Manchester United in this game. I, I feel so too. Uh, there is some circumspection uh, in the back line for United now that wasn't there before. Here comes. Uh, good forward, Rod. We had, well, Vardy in between Maguire and Lindelof. You need nerves of steel and balls of metal to have gone into that tackle, especially if you are Harry Maguire and you are already in a yellow. That was risky. If it missed the ball slightly, he didn't even touch the ball. But well, that was that was heart stopping. Well, yeah, it was certainly. I mean, it's, it's Jamie Vardy, 33 years, but he's aiming to you know, be the top scorer in the Premier League uh, this campaign, Fermi. Uh, Almost, almost the perfect opportunity for Leicester City. Just the control was lacking. It was hard to get a hold of um, the ball in that instance when you had two Manchester United players um, just hovering around. Uh, but majestic defending, you've got to mention, from uh, the yellow-carded United captain. Well, big opportunity missed by Leicester City. We've played 40 minutes, going on 41. It's goalless at the King Power as... United continue to find a way. Pogba supplies. Rashford is alone. Rashford should score. Rashford fails to score. But that was heartbreaking if you were a United fan. This is, well, almost clearly a sitter. He'd done the hard work. The pass was, was good. It taking the first touch was good. Took it off Justin completely. Post was open. Morgan was arriving, but it wasn't a deflection. It was Rashford sending it high up. And there was no need for that uh, rush by Marcus Rashford. The control was good. As you mentioned, took apart Justine. And somehow the composure is not happening for either Jamie Vardy for Leicester City or Manchester United. Marcus Rashford is uh, the Oracle. Pretty much has an update somewhere. Well, Femi, it's uh, at Messi's side. The goals keep coming, and this time it's at the Gotsin Park. Everton have just gotten a goal back 
and crawl themselves back in this game though they're not fighting for their lives in relegation they are still very much in there uh, with a decent finish in the Premier League this season is the man Keen, the man who came from the Serie A uh, just a year ago and he's gotten the equaliser for Everton at the Gutsin Park. It was a good walk from the right hand side. In fact, it was one on one against one on one against goal. Uh, it was, uh, or I could have, or there was no way in the world he was going to miss that. Easy tapping for him and it's a home side. Everton won, Bournemouth won out there at Goodson Park. And we're seeing the second penalty at the Emirates Stadium for this evening. This time around is to what for Troy Dini. Stands in front of the ball, takes the strike, goes straight to goalkeeper Martinez. But there was too much power on that one and maybe it's time for a revival for Watford. One goal on the evening for them in the 43rd minute. Arsenal 3, Watford 1. Talking about that penalty, I think for a player like David Luiz, he should have done better. Uh, he is a defender. There are certain kind of tackle as a defender, professional defender for that matter, uh, that you shouldn't do. He just gave away that penalty. And now uh, Watford, they've been able to pull one back. Well, on Twitter, Olua Shemire says Chelsea are bad with like, with like six or seven Gs. Hussein CFC, CFC Aiden says, come on Chelsea, tension no. Happy Kepa is on the bench, hoping for a Chelsea victory. Uh, CM, uh, uh, Biafra Reborn, he goes, are you an Arsenal fan? Then you should know that Shovel is your friend. Go and dig for Arsenal on the league table, he said, with a lot of bad bellying. Uh, Fabian Mars goes, United and Chelsea will win. Femi, it's good to hear your voice. Thank you very much. Dolani Roberts, I don't trust Vardy. He can score against Man United. Uh, now, what do they pay him for? Uh, United coming. Oh, timely tackle by the Leicester City captain. Rashford was almost set free. The cross comes in and Schmeichel picks. Collins O goes, Mr. Fermi and the gang, I'm enjoying your fantastic commentaries from all centres. Nice to see Arsenal leading already by two goals for Chelsea. Manchester and Leicester City. Hmm. Any team that needs it more should go for it. Hope Mama is warming up. You bet she is. You bet she is. And Fakoya Fashola says Leicester United are doing fine, but the Nigerian striker should pass the ball in time when there is opportunity to score. The Don says, Okay, the Don, I see you. David, I see you. Donald, uh, Dolani, I see you. Obama Young needs two more goals to be the highest goal scorer. Uh, and I see you too, uh, everybody. Appreciate you. Um, keep your comments coming. We'll continue to take them. We'll also be looking at what you sent us on WhatsApp later. Uh, what does the Oracle say? Well, family, the goals uh, keep coming in at Tough Mall. We've seen an equaliser for the home side. Burnley, they've dragged themselves as well. Back in this one is Wood. And the man, he wasn't made out of wood, but he's clearly. Uh, surely also not Greenwood, <laughs> but he's getting the goal. Uh, just something from Chuman Nolly's book of 100 rhymes. He's got an equaliser for Burnley and he's uh, a tough more. Burnley won, Brighton won, Wood with the goal, the equaliser for the home side. Oh, it's, it's, I think Chidabri, his oracles are a bit slow for me. Well, United will score, <laughs> but somehow they fail. It's taken a deflection, only a corner to the bargain. But better work from United. Yeah. And there are strong stout men all involved. It started with Pogba. Fernandez was there. Martial also in that thick. It seemed to be going in it's a until crucial, it took that heavy a deflection. Crucial moment. Apologies, family, for United. This, this would define a lot. Well, the corner is sent by Fernandez. Goodness me. Referee will look at it. What a strike from Rashford. Oh, oh what a save from Schmeichel. Oh, well, Femi, why are you shouting? Chelsea have taken the lead. No back, Mario. <laughs> Against Wolverhampton Wanderers. A free kick just close to the 18-yard arc. It was uh, Mason Mount and uh, Alonso who stood over it. But it was the youngster, Mason Mount, who took it. Beat uh, Rui Patricio. And uh, while United are struggling, Chelsea have their first goal. It's Chelsea 1, Wolves 0. It's the last thing United fans wanted to hear. Chelsea going ahead. If they continue this family football with Leicester, and Leicester stings them late on in this game, and Chelsea win, 
United will be out of the Champions League. It's as simple as that. And got him back, Femi. The goals keep coming. We've now seen three goals there because the away side, Bournemouth, who are fighting for their lives, have once again restored their lead against Everton. It's now Everton 1, Bournemouth 2. The goal coming from the former Liverpool man, Solanke. Even though I like to call him Solanke, he's gotten the goal for Bournemouth heading into the halftime break. It's Everton 1, Bournemouth 2. He ignored Manchester City. Well, I don't know, he's, 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 he's a god who doesn't like City. Um, <laughs> uh, the, don't like the City? Yeah, Premier League Player of the Year, in my opinion, Kevin De Bruyne has just given City um, the second goal, yeah. He's oh, got I a second that. goal for Manchester City. So it's I Man City that. 2, their opposition, whom I must not name, they end the championship nil. Mm. Uh, Olivier Giroud just uh, the Norwich oh, went into so the referee's sorry. book. Um, he fouled uh, the Donka. He's happy. No one cares about the yellow card at Stafford Bridge anymore. Chelsea, <laughs> by the way, have looked from Ma Manchester United. Chelsea currently, based on the live table, at third. Fermi, 66 points. United now 64. Leicester, 63. And Spurs, Wolves is a problem for Wolves. Wolves currently are seventh on the Premier League table. They still could qualify for the Europa League by virtue of Chelsea. If Chelsea do it in the FA Cup against the Gunners. Well, interesting as tough Sarafina. Ah, Chelsea, us. Fabio almost Giroud! That is goal number two for Chelsea! <laughs> <laughs> Out of nothing, a counter attack! The man you never expected to run straight to the ball, Olivier Giroud, went past Rui Patricio and slotted home. Four minutes of time added on, is the third out of the fourth. And Chelsea had two goals ahead of Wolves. It's are, Chelsea two Wolves nil. I think you should say, and Chelsea are in the Champions League. It's hard to see them lose against Wolves in the second half. But you know, it's not my business. My concern is at the King Park <laughs> Stadium with you, Femio Bungdaniels, <laughs> and it looks like it's half time. It is half time. It is indeed half time. As it stands, United will be in the Champions League Correct. behind Chelsea in in fourth. Um, but again, you never know what the second half might, might bring. This is the King Power Stadium. And we've seen Leicester City when it mattered, when it really mattered, um, go, you know, go against the odds and, and bring out what they need. Uh, Salafina, let's look at the bottom table. As it stands, Norwich are out. It looks like Watford are just, you know, just... Uh, all but out as well. So what's going on uh, in, from the perspective of teams like Bournemouth and, of course, um, Aston Villa? Uh, as it stands at this point, Watford, for me, I think is done and dusted. Uh, they will play in the championship come next season. As for AFC Bournemouth, I don't really think they can actually do anything more. Even if they end up defeating uh, Everton today, they will still get relegated because you look at the game between West Ham United and Aston Villa, they are still playing at uh, a, a, a goalless draw. So if it ends like this, AFC Bournemouth is going to get relegated alongside Watford and Norwich City. You know, the good news for Bournemouth family is if Everton can find a way, I beg your pardon, yes, if Everton can find a way not to come back and Bournemouth get a win, get an extra goal, and somehow West Ham are able to beat Aston Villa, Bournemouth will stay in the Premier League. So there's still quite a lot to play for in the second 45. And just to mention, we also do have Kotze of our friends at Tiger with uh, a Liverpool Jesse to give away. The question will come when we return from the break. So halftime at the King Power Stadium. It's Leicester City nil, United nil. And uh, the Oracle will tell us the full score lines everywhere in England. Well, surely Femi has been a goal-laden uh, final day of the season out there in the Premier League. And just like uh, we predicted, just like I predicted, leading to this uh, set of fixtures. Did that grammar make you think of Bin Laden? <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be uh, goals and goals and more goals. Oh, at, uh, let's uh, start off at Emirates. Uh, they are leading, heading into the break. Arsenal 3 Watford won two goals already by Pair Emilie Kobameyang and he's already got himself on goal number 22 equaling the amount of goals he got last season which of course made him win the ensured he won the joint, joint top yeah. scorer alongside Sadio Mane and Mo Salah at top four Burnley won Brighton won Chris Wood with the equaliser after he used with Suma got the first goal for Brighton and indeed at the centre where the goals are just uh, uh, tickled in two quick goals for Chelsea 
at the at Stanford, at Stanford Bridge, Chelsea 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers nil, and away at the Sellers Park is Spurs, who are leading top scorer Harry Kane, 18 goals already this season, and uh, his solitary goal separates both teams at least for the first half. Crystal Pass nil, Tottenham Hotspur won, half time break as well in that centre. At Everton, the Messi side, not the Messi side derby, but they're playing at the Gotham Park. They are trailing, they've been really poor today. They throw by one goal to two against Bournemouth. Leicester City goalless for a future game against Manchester United. And Man City leading by two goals to nothing against Norwich City. Newcastle are currently drawing against the league champions. They've got the nerve. And they are drawing one all heading into the break against the league champions. Equalizer coming from Virgil van Dijk after a sweet cross from the right hand side from Alex Oxford Chamberlain. Southampton are trailing at the St. Mary's against Sheffield United by a solitary goal. And West Ham Aston Villa is goalless at the London Stadium. Interesting stuff. Um, we will be hearing from you um, right after we uh, take a message. Uh, this final day broadcast uh, brought to you by our friends at Action Bet. We uh, will uh, give you a message or so. Um, information that you could use. Where's the deals plug when you need it? Um, that will come yeah. uh, going uh, forward. Stick around. We are Femi and the gang. Uh, a full, full cast. Uh, uh, myself, Emmanuel Etim, Chuma Nolly, Namdi Kuba, uh, Salafina, Napoleon Bonaparte, and of course, uh, um, uh, Chideberry, Oracle, Ezemwa, Anugulu. Um, part of the broadcast also other members of the team you uh, heard earlier sam uh, is busy um working on the back end making sure um you are taken care of on social media alongside brownish and not forgetting tunde who is making sure we are streamed and beamed live to you on facebook and on youtube search for nigeria info you cannot cannot miss out us We'll be back pretty, pretty shortly. Hi guys, I'm John Fashionu. Keep listening to Femi and the Gang on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Don't miss it. Season out. Oh, the excitement never stops. The misses. The saves. The off and on the pitch drama. And of course, the goals. He's a man who's living his dream, Martial. Right, that was glorious. They can now dream of it. Smiling at the ball, saying this is it. Nice, Antonio! Too easy. West Ham. But it's Fabinho who goes! <laughs> From over 40 yards. And this is what you do. Have the opportunity and shows that Pepe Reina has no immunity. It's floated into the box. It's in. It's Virgil van Dijk. It's taking 14 minutes. Juan Bissaka on the right. Saka crosses. <laughs> Liverpool are majestic. You can't coach against them. To, to join Femi and the gang for all the commentaries on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Live football. Just the way you like it. Hi, my name is Rekia Yusuf, your favorite TV girl Mimi. Keep listening to Femi and the Gang. Welcome back. The lines are 0700 993 993 993. And it's time to hear from you. I'd like to share your thoughts. Uh, don't worry, you can call in. Um, our device uh, splits those calls into multiple channels. We cannot wait to hear from you. And also, we are also taking your calls on Twitter. Your messages on Twitter. Hi there. Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah. How are you doing, my brother? Fine, though. This house is full. I also want to enjoy this last, last Premier League match. Seriously, I really enjoy you guys being uh, in the studio like this. Thank you, man. 
Thank you. Um, this is James Darwin, calling from Ajawa State. Welcome. Yeah, uh, um, I can see uh, Leicester City is yeah, trying their possible best to to win this league, and Nia um, yeah, Chua has been trying their, trying his best. But from your commentary, I, I have I've been hearing that he has been trying so much, and I wish I wish them to win this match seriously. I want them to win. So uh, uh, Chelsea will kind of dominating the Premier League very well. Mm. That's my commission with this one. This afternoon. Thank, Thank you, you very much. We really appreciate your talking to us. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Yeah. <laughs> Femi and the gang. Welcome, Papa my G. brother. How are you doing? I'm fine. I said, let me just call. Uh, seeing the food. Ay, 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 ay. Listening to you guys, okay. I'm very, very happy. Thank you. And uh, again, if Asna, at the end of the day, uh, they want to win obviously. I would thank God. But I'm just missing one of the gang here now, Bushi, the mm. troublesome guy. Would have been the one that we add fire on that need. But Femi and the gang still remain. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bushi is uh, also uh, busy in action in our sister station. Well done. Hi there. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, good day, sir. Good day to you, sir. Who am I speaking with? Uh, United is going to win by two goals. By, did you say two or six? Two goals. Two goals. GBK, yeah. Okay. Okay. His name is Chibike, by the way. Whoa, Chibike, how are you, my brother? <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah. Yes, please. Good evening, good evening to you. How are you? Fine. Um, um, yes. um, good uh, afternoon to the other guys. Dara, how are you? I'm, I'm very fine. Good afternoon, man. I'm the Chuma Andres. Welcome. And um, I'm actually very, very happy now. Like, I'm in the middle center. When the second king, second goal came from Chiruj, like, the noise was. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. <laughs> and I'm trying to wait for Manchester United to lose. Just uh, unless I'm going to the Champions League. <laughs> in my day, take out to Manchester United to lose today. Let's just, um, yeah, I'll show you. I'll see you And that will be it. For the new anthem of the Femme Gang. Mm. I really, really listen to it because of the noise. So I'll be looking forward to hearing it again. Yeah. So I'll be after the match and some other game time. It's a family enjoying the show. Thank you very Thank much. You. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's take one more call. Hi there. Ah, yikes. Um, replacement therapy. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, hey, how are Hello. you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Uh, I am enjoying your. Uh, the program. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me. Yes, please. You should be given national awards. I hope they are listening to me. Hmm. <laughs> 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 That's all I want to say. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, my brother. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's take this one and move on. Um, hi there. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Talk to us. Tell me. Yes, coming please. from through Larry. Ah, Oloruko. Yes, sir. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Oh, yeah, shoot. Ah, it's really wonderful and re relieving knowing that Chelsea is winning at Stamford Bridge. Mm. And uh, I've said earlier before that um, the match will go into the wire. That is the Manchester United and Leicester City game. Mm. And um, a shocking goal is going to come. <laughs> a shocking goal is going to come, and it's really not going to be possible to Manchester United. Mm. I've said it before, on two occasions I've done this, and I've seen the same thing now. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know what, uh, Emmanuel didn't say much about it. No, let me pick their calls. <laughs> <laughs> if not, they have the, so, the air you, time to declare doom on United. Are you done, Femi? Yeah, he's, he's off. He's now. off. You want okay. to squeeze him more? All right. Okay. Um, there's, so um, there are messages. We'll look at those messages. Uh, but most importantly, as Emmanuel told you, um, you know, there will be some uh, questions, some prizes. You know, you can be on the way to winning, winning a branded autographed from Anfield, from Anfield straight uh, from Anfield uh, by the uh, the big players of yeah. uh, you, you know at that club. Yeah, Cuts yeah. of our guys at, at Tiger Week. Exactly, the official foreign exchange uh, trading partner of. They like to brag, Premier League champions. I mean, it's the first time in 30 years, but because they are partners, will be kind enough to exalt their, you know, the virtues now. Hey, you got it. You flaunted. I mean. Yeah, and also it's important to mention that they are not only 
you know, friends of Femi and the gang, they also aid um, people who want to learn how to make money trading. Mm. Um, you all you just have to do uh, is to send a tiger weight to 0090179084. Uh, but more importantly, they are international, by the oh, way. Oh, they are actually, they are global. Global, brand. if, if you global are the brand. official foreign exchange trading partner of the Champions Liverpool. Uh, you're a big deal. They provide platforms for people who like to trade in foreign currencies. If you want to go into cryptocurrencies, crude oil, precious metals, commodities, they offer the copy trade technology. Uh, they've got an app. It's an intuitive app with offers you instant accessibility to live price feeds. For those who are into the financial market, these stems are like me saying Ayimba has won the CAF Champions League. Um, <laughs> and again, it's important that we mentioned that they are regulated by Securities Commission of the Bahamas, SCB, and Financial Conduct Authority. So they are viable. Uh, but they're also and quite generous. Mm. Uh, they've come up with that opportunity. We gave away a jersey in the last Liverpool engagement where Trent scored a glorious free kick against Chelsea. Oh, and that, yeah. your, commentary, <laughs> your commentary of that occasion... Uh, I am you know, I'm biased particularly. Yeah, I know, right? Trent. I, I, I love him a lot, Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, my next Liverpool trip. Uh, you sent I, him a DM already. Yeah, I did. I, I dreamt about him. <laughs> I told Sarafina that. <laughs> literally dreamt about interviewing Trent at Anfield. Yeah. Woke up, realized it was a dream. Yeah. I went to his DM. Yeah. He's got about 6 million plus. So there's no way he's going to see my DM. Yeah. But I just put it there. Even yeah. if it's 2021, I go back yeah. to Anfield. I must have that interview. Uh, but we have a second Liverpool jersey to give away today. And the question has to be Liverpool inclined. Um, it's not for Liverpool fans alone. United fans, Chelsea fans could also win. It's simple. How many competitive games have Liverpool Football Club won so far this season? Mm. Don't include today's fixture because it's not over yet. How many competitive games have Liverpool Football Club won so far this season? All you have to do is just go to their respective social media platforms at Tiger Wit. Africa page on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Just drop your comments there and we'll select Tiger with Africa. You want to spell it just in case? Tiger, the, the yeah. cat. T-I-J-R-W-I-T as with and Africa, mm. our continent. Social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook. So you drop it on Facebook, you drop it on Twitter and you also go on Instagram, Tiger with Africa. And a question like I mentioned, it's not that hard. How many competitive games have Liverpool Football Club won so far this season? As simple as that, we'll uh, come back to that, oh, we'll yeah, talk well. about it and uh, we'll also go to some of your comments in just a bit. Uh, before that though, um, a quick word from our friends, our partners and sponsors, Action Bet. Return to the various turfs across the United Kingdom where the second half is officially underway for the closing of the 2019 2020 season. Leicester City up against United, goalless at half time, goalless now, minutes into the second half. As United come attacking, but the defense is good. Only as far as Martial, who can strike from range. 
where Rashford goes down, referee looks away, Pogba can't reach it, manages to stop Ehenacho, who picks the ball, unleashes uprighting to the right, what great tackle from Williams. Now this is civil war, if you ask me. And Captain American is still in charge of that battle, Femi. Yeah, uh, versus Iron Man. Yeah, and you know, it was heartbreaking to see that you know, battle at the end. Uh, it, it's a second for the five that they know. I'm sure the players are aware of Chelsea's score line at Stamford Bridge. It's, it's common knowledge. The manager would have informed the Manchester United players, likewise Brendan to the Leicester City players. So it's winner takes all for United, not necessarily, because the point would help them play Champions League football next season. Well, well the, mm, the oracle of the gods with uh, roving eyes everywhere. Namdi is looking at this Chelsea. He's the, happier, uh, he's the happiest of all of us. Yeah, he's not a shouting yeah. goal when we're trying to close shop <laughs> for the first half. Well, uh, the second 45 uh, just started. Chelsea also uh, just won themselves a free kick, but a poor one. And uh, just to let you know, one substitution at the start of the second half. Adama Chari is in, Pedro Neto is out. They are hoping they can get something out of this game, Wolves. Uh, because uh, they will be looking not behind them anymore in front of them Tottenham are now above them on the table looking at uh, where uh, what Tottenham are doing so far uh, in their game so uh, for Wolves they have to do something uh, for Chelsea uh, they will just be coasting well Obama Yang has spoiled to the competition for Chuma in that Arsenal game yeah what for are still fighting really at this stage they want to avoid relegation so yeah. they need to inspire the delegation oh sure mm. uh, there's Troy Dini in there for irrigation just to water them even though they don't have the congregation uh, mm -hmm. monitoring proceedings in this game but, but on a more serious note now Femi uh, two minutes we have seen the game started two minutes later than the Manchester United fixture which mm -hmm. is the okay. the star match for us for, for the evening and Arsenal have started to bright out the two sides as always and for what Ford is just a case yeah. of trying to galvanise the performance from what they should case in the first 45 Dokore has had a feel of the ball once or twice and then Troy Dini who is the captain of the side is expected to be uh, the main man to lead them to paradise as things stand they will be relegated if the final whistle comes through right now the good news for them is that they still do have uh, just about 42 minutes to play to turn i can see everything turning around for my good yeah 42 yeah. minutes to try and uh, refresh their brains that's what football looks like in the championship oracle sir what you got Ofemi is at uh, saint mary's it looks like the home side have found themselves back and it's that man who scored one of the most spectacular goals of the season, Shea Adams. Oh. He's gotten the equaliser for Southampton and he clearly got it for them. Just a few minutes, about two, three minutes into the second half, Shea Adams have equalised and is from the spot indeed. Uh, he he was, a, was a crossing in there, but uh, I'm just trying to describe the goal, Femi. But uh, Shea Adams clearly have got the equaliser. Uh, the home side, Southampton won. Sheffield United won and more goals coming this time is uh, Chris Tupas who've gotten a goal for themselves and surely they've equalized against Tottenham Hotspur corner kick from the right hand side and indeed uh, ended up at the back of the net is now Chris Tupas won Tottenham Hotspur won and you still go back to him in a bit Femi because something is happening at Turf Moor Mm. By the day you expect a goalkeeper who's seeking a cliche record not Where's to concede. It? <laughs> <laughs> He's going on concede. <laughs> I mean, it's Brighton. <laughs> they are in front once again. Hey. Brighton got the first goal caught to use by Suma. Uh, they were pegged back <laughs> by Chris Wood. And now it looks like uh, the unknown Manchester United goalkeeper Henderson has conceded yet again. Does that is a play for Burnley? Pardon, pardon me, Femi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. It's Nick know. Pope, the <laughs> English international. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my As a man who <laughs> has conceded for the second time. <laughs> so it's the uh, home, home side who have been pe or who have been pegged back. Why you game? check your facts with your gods? United almost um, opening the scoring here. Chida Berry will return to you in just a bit. But well, United are still keeping the pressure on. Juan Bissaka can go for a shot. He floats one into the box. But Justin nips it just gingerly off uh, Pogba as Leicester clear their line. Why can't they just play in the Europa League Leicester City? <laughs> 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 just, <laughs> she just enjoy it. I have mercy on everybody. <laughs> At this point, Ofemi and the gang, we've always wanted our big boys to be in the Champions League. It makes the Champions League sweeter. But we've seen 
during our time here together, Imano, we've yeah. seen teams like Everton come yeah. spoil the party. Absolutely. Uh, well, Tottenham constantly trying to spoil the party. That was the time even Newcastle. Yeah. New Newcastle were threatening to spoil the party. Different teams. Uh, I think it's the beginning of the end for Kelechi for this fixture because mm. except the manager wants to do something awkward and throw in another attack-minded player in a Jose Perez. Uh, so the first tactical change will come in favour of Leicester City. Uh, but like you rightly mentioned, I mean, it's the Champions League. Let the team to the reputation play in it. Well, oh, it doesn't oh, mean Leicester City, sorry, Chidabere, <laughs> don't deserve to play Champions League football. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, just to paint more pictures for you at Toffmore, the man who got that goal is Connolly. Uh, he got the lead yet again for the away side. Brighton was a good run from him. Solo run actually from the left-hand side, found himself in the 18 and tucked it away. It was a very accurate angle for him, but he indeed found the goalkeeper's leg. Uh, legs and is indeed the away side who lead yet again. Burnley won Brighton 2. United, um, Emmanuel, when was the last time United won the Premier League? What year? Uh, it was 2012. 2012. 2012. Yeah, because City won. We'll never forget that because City won the next game. So City won before and United, you know, so it Fergie means, won't die without, you know, seeing United get won Le after City had won Le it. Leicester City has a better Premier League oh, record yeah. no in doubt. the last no doubt. six years or so. I agree. In England. I mean, it's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. But maybe we stopped records. United today. Yes, no, fair Yeah, enough. this is a message from Twitter, by the way. You know, mm. people are quite excited that we have the full team in-house here and I just have to take this one. Mm -hmm. It's from uh, our former colleague, uh, Mariano Cohn duke and uh, she says, I'm enjoying the conversation with everyone present in the studio. I'm looking forward to the game. She sent this about an eye go. Uh, mm. Love you, Nandi. Uh, Femi. Uh, and uh, Emmanuel too and uh, myself and mm. everyone else uh, best gang in the world she says we love you and we miss you we wherever you, you be Marianne. we love you too yeah, love you've you. run off with um, big man <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we miss has. you she has actually. we really miss you I uh, just got confirmation again Femi aside uh, the YouTube viewing we're also live on Facebook Tunde actually does have um, in Tumor's words Cajones uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to just be on YouTube but he say hey Emmanuel we can do this uh, it's Femi and the gang, and the comments are in the attends. Uh, during the course of the broadcast, we will take them. Interesting stuff. Uh, relegation, madam, how far? Yeah. They are just collecting your look at nothing. They have decided not to score. I think, I think, there's, news for Aston Villa, yes. I, I, I think there's a problem in this relegation fight. Oh, and, sorry, that, and, and, and in you. that game uh, between Manchester United and Leicester City, they need to beg this other side to just give them one, one go each. So one side can just score because... I do not understand why they decided not to, to score. But it's also understandable because if you look at uh, the results at this point, AFC Bournemouth, they know that, yes, if they keep up with what they are doing, they are doing the lost work at, at this point. If they keep up like that, they might end up not going down the relegation waters. Mm. But this side, they're talking about West Ham and Aston Villa, they understand something. If we decide to play at a draw, mm -hmm. we will survive the relegation yeah, fight. Drum, so yeah. why would we want to score? I see, True. but you have to be careful. Even your career too is on the line. You <laughs> could be relegated to the feeder team <laughs> if this, they don't give us some excitement. I'm telling you, yeah, you would. We'll relegate you. You go she with the feeder team. Chelsea are almost doing it again. Mason Mount the pass. Pulisic holds the ball too much, but Chelsea are looking like they want to score the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Uh, it's been Chelsea all the way, and um, I, I think I, I, I don't see, I don't see anything. Uh, good coming out of this Wolverhampton Wanderers side. I think uh, Chelsea will get the next goal in this game. But but the thing is, we need to give it give, give it to Chelsea. They do know how to actually turn up on a very good day when they want to turn up. Uh, coming into this final day fixture, my, my fear was not just that Manchester United they will not turn up, but with Chelsea, you will know that when they know that this is what we want, they are going to throw everything at that game. So I'm not I'm really not surprised that they are actually currently beating Wolves by two goals to nothing. Mm. Interesting stuff. That substitution has finally come, Emmanuel, yeah. and it's as you uh, had anticipated. Yeah. It's the Nigerian, one of the two on the pitch, who... It's funny that he... I, I don't know how, he, when I look at his name, Ihe Nacho, and he has that dot under the O, and another dot under the I, like typical Igbo yeah. uh, pronunciation. He's just uh, he's proud of it. Yeah. He is. Uh, so, Ayose Perez, the former Newcastle United player, has been pretty much decent since he joined um, Leicester City has come on for Yanacho who had a decent first 45 could have scored just um, misjudged his his final strike and uh, fortunate for David De Gea was able to you know quickly respond so the first tactical change 
Uh, the same thing Namdi mentioned, uh, you know, Mano, United have no bench coming into this game. <laughs> so I doubt we'll see an early substitution, if not necessary. Hey, they've so, got Fifo uh, Valebo. Mm. Yeah, they do actually. Who's on the bench? Yes, uh, Fifo Valebo in a uh, birth name or Johnny Gallo. Well, to be sure, the dot in the Igbo language, as in the Yoruba language, yeah. is the difference between the sound O and O. Oh, yeah. uh, but, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. if... If uh, Ihen Achora likes, he can add the Igbo dot and the Yoruba dot together to have two dots. It won't stop the Englishman for still calling him Ihen yeah, That's what they call him, yeah. 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 Bray, you've, got, you've, got, you've got fans on Facebook, by the way. Um, they're hailing you. I'll, I'll take comments, but even as United try to defend successfully this free kick. <laughs> <laughs> Very biased. Biased, biased commentating. Well, it will be swung into the box on the one hour mark. Can United defend? I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten red shirts. Everybody's back. And oh, oh. goodness me. Well, did that hit the post? Yeah, yeah it, it did. Well. Looks like it was from Jimmy Vardy. It had to be. Oh, dear. <laughs> just clipped. It just had to be Vardy. Just clipped the angle between the upright and the crossbar. Uh, Jamie, ba Jamie Vardy reached it. Yeah. Well, United live to fight another day. It's just the battle they have, Femi. This is the only battle they have. They should ignore fighting another day. It's last <laughs> in the Europa League. This is the entire... Yeah, another battle. day is today. This is the war. <laughs> well, it's 60 minutes. One hour of football. United have been stopped from scoring against Leicester City. Leicester City come now. Ayose Perez is coming. Vardy help arriving down there. Thomas! Well, I was expecting him to strike, <laughs> but he floated the ball back into the box. And on that occasion, Tielemans got a foot to it, took a deflection. Corner, Leicester. Well, Femi, we've seen three substitutions in the game at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal with a couple. Lacazette <laughs> has been taken off for Nketiah. No, and we have Willow, actually, who's yeah. uh, settling in for... Uh, we have Kolasinac in for Wheelock at this moment. Kiko has been taken off for Watford in his place is uh, Mariapa. Uh, the Watford boss who is there on an interim basis is hoping that somehow the presence of Mariapa can help to improve the quality of his team. This side who have had to change three managers during the 2019-2020 campaign. Talking about substitution in the uh, game... Uh, oh, hold on, Sarafina. Let me come to you right after this corner. United defending... Well, Leicester City supplying and uh, headed away. The and referee has already an uh, judged and there was an infringement there. So, free kick to United. Go, Sarafina. Okay, talking about the game between um, uh, West Ham versus Aston Villa, we've seen two changes for the home side. Uh, uh, Mikel Antonio has been substituted for Sebastian Heller, while uh, Yamalenko is on for Jared Bowen. Well, Femi, it looks like the champions are not going down today. They're not going down on final. They went down the first goal from Newcastle. Cotty Dwight Gale early in the first minute, actually. It's one of the fastest goals, even, even, not the, even not the fastest goal you'd see in the Premier League this season. But uh, they came back, Cotty Virgil van Dijk, just before halftime. And now Cotty Divock Origi, they've taken the lead. He's not started plenty of games for Liverpool this season, but when he starts and when he plays, he scores for them. He's now the champions who are in front against Newcastle. Newcastle won. Divock Origi 2 had the ball in front of the 18 and slotted it past the goalkeeper. 1-2 in favour of Liverpool. Interesting stuff. There's a booking in the game. Well, it's Lindelof, so... The two central defenders for United are now in the referee's bad books. It's not good. That's not good because I mean they've got Vardy, they've got Jose now, and they're probably going to bring Damari Gray to just come and begin to run run around. That's what he does. That's what he does yeah. really, and that could be more troubling, especially considering his pace and his guile. He could get one of these two men sent off. Free kick. To Leicester, floated into the box. Vadi strikes into the stands. He never got the technique right. He needed to hit it low. But again, Leicester City are asking the tougher question. Well, he's just taking a time machine, Jamie Vardy, going back five years ago while he was uh, playing for Fleetwood Town. Because uh, this is not the man who scored 23 goals this season. He was in the box and 
it should have done better. I know the pressure, as it is on Manchester United as a team, is on Jamie Vardy. Because you look at, in all fairness, the entire Leicester City players, there's going to be something positive to come in the mode of a goal. It has to be from the Premier League top scorer, Jamie Vardy. Well, Leicester have almost doubled the number of attempts that United have. Both have one goal, on one, one strike on target, pretty poor in 65 or so minutes of football. One, tag, one, goal, one shot on target apiece. Uh, United have five goal attempts, while Leicester have eight. And Leicester can break now, but too much tiring by Albright. He's running, run himself aground. And United sees the initiative again. Williams looking to unleash uh, United Fernandez. He doesn't have the legs. Well, he wants to throw, but the referee would have decided it's Leicester's for the taking. I haven't seen much of uh, the United front three dominate. It's been pretty much Christmas for, surprisingly, Wes Morgan and uh, Justine and Dan Johnny Evans, the former Manchester United player who always something about players being against their former team. They want to get one over them. So I, I think it's high time just, just for Solskjaer to do the unusual family. Just uh, take off Antonio Martial or Marcus Rashford. It might be hard to say, but trying a more hungry player, a man who every second he dons the Manchester United shed is sentenced to perform or Johnny Gallo and sure he plays this game because it's been no performance from Greenwood from Martial and from Marcus Rashford and if the guys who are naturally supposed to hunt and get those goals are pedestrian just make those changes it's difficult to bring on a Gallo because you don't trust him that much but just do it and take one of the three three Trinity up front and on to the Oracle uh, just the Oracle will have to wait United have a chance there oh but well masterful defending by Thomas well, family, we've seen 20 minutes of football play so far in the second half and just to run you through uh, all the nine other match centres where I've got my eyes on West Ham and Aston Villa at the London Stadium is still goalless between those two Southampton won, Sheffield United won at St Mary's Newcastle uh, trailing against the league champions Liverpool by one goal to two second goal coming in from Divock Origi Manchester City 2, Norwich City nil at the Etihad and Leicester City of course uh, for the future game Everton uh, training against Bournemouth by one goal to two as well and Crystal Palace uh, who are currently taking on Tottenham Hotspur they had a half chance just a few seconds ago just couldn't uh, make that count it's one all between those two Harry Kane scoring the first goal and the equaliser coming uh, some minutes back for the home side Palace Chelsea 2-0 against Wolverhampton Wanderers at the Chelsea home ground and uh, the bridge uh, with uh, Olivier Giroud getting one of the goals there Burnley won Brighton 2 and Arsenal leading Watford by 3 goals to 2 with 2, with two goals coming from uh, Obama Young 3 goals to 1 pardon me Femi Arsenal lead against Watford and just to do a little shakara and remind the world of a very unique partnership with our friends at the BBC who are themselves in every one of these stands here today. We'll join them. Lincoln, but I think the, uh, the ball had gone and Target was wanting the free kick but it's been given as a West Ham throw and that's all. Target stayed down. Yes, both players committed. Target gets caught but uh, I think he's just taking his time as Villa have done from the off. I thought that might have been given as a free kick, the way that Jan Lenko slid in. Uh, Villa are going to, West Ham are going to make another change. Manuel Lanzini is going to, to come on. He's another one who hasn't um, really lit up West Ham this season. Certainly not lived up to his earlier promise and his earlier performances as a West Ham player, the Argentine. Difference between the benches though, John, in terms of who West Ham can bring on. And I take your point that there's been a lot of underperformers. You see strength in depth of benches, but Villa, I think, are going to make a change as well. I think Dean Smith has probably seen enough of Samata. Yeah. Uh, Keenan Davis is coming on. The, the youngster, the 22-year-old, who Vulcan! has yet to score in the Premier League. We have to cut off because something, it, it has happened. It sure has happened. Well, our friends at the BBC, well, I, I know the West Ham game is important, but right now I couldn't care any less. United have a penalty. Martial brought down by Johnny Evans. He went for the ball. He seemed to have gotten the ball. VAR will reanalyze. 
He seemed to have touched the ball, but there was enough in there to take it, take, like. up, take out Antonio Martial. I like it how you're just trying to give hope to the Leicester City fans. <laughs> Uh, it's a penalty. penalty. I mean, it's sandwiched. Uh, Bournemouth, a bigger part, and Chidabri has an eye there, but it's a penalty. Yeah, Chidabri, quickly. Welbeck has just caught oh, for okay. Watford, yeah. so it's uh, a fight back yeah. for the team who are fighting against relegation. Arsenal 3, Watford 2 after 66 minutes. I think Morgan is perhaps even the more guilty party. What's Pogba doing with that ball? Uh, uh, it, it, right. it looks. Yeah, I think West Morgan was even more, more involved guilty. Than, than Evans, yes. Chelsea fans, no but Evans got a yellow card. I, I'm not certain here. I think he was yeah, the one. Yeah. Maybe the referee will still review that. Again, it was terrible decision making by the Leicester City players. Uh, Chowdhury, one of them. I think the referee might change his mind about who he, who gives, he gives the, the yellow, yellow card to. Yeah. Uh, perhaps the yellow card will be withdrawn from Evans and shown it will seem to Morgan. But one thing is certain it's a penalty, all right. There is no changing that. The referee has looked at it and is not changing his mind about the yellow either. Even Ole can't watch for me. Well. <laughs> well I, think, I think at this stage we, we, we need a, a special camera to be focused on the man later. Well, yeah. I, I think. They're waiting for it! Oh! United take the lead at the Kane Power. This is the goal they needed. And at this point, Leicester will have to score twice. They've done so well in all of 70 minutes. I am your color commentator, Femi. It's yeah. for me to call her. Uh, <laughs> it's brilliantly done. <laughs> Ah, football. <laughs> Fag, Fag is immortal words. Uh, bloody hell. Uh, it, it, it's a very difficult sport. Mm. It's, it's what we love. But again, this man, perfection. His, his acquisition has defined Manchester United's season in the Premier League. Bruno Fernandes, since he joined, he's yet to lose in the Premier League. Well, Chelsea made him suffer in the cup games. Legitimate penalty. Hard to tell who was the most guilty. If it was Wes Morgan or Johnny Evans. But that combination was calamitous. And then came Bruno Orgasm Fernandes, the Manchester United midfielder, at Old Trafford Femi, they've got a chance for him. He's a Portuguese Magnifico. They'll soon be called Fernandes. Uh, well, they, they'll take it. Ronaldo really? gets the Ballon d'Or. Really? <laughs> Femi, you're the commentator. Well, he never, he, never <laughs> he never misses. He never misses. He never misses from the sport. Yeah, but, um, okay, by the way, Chilibre has got updates, but yes, United have scored. And like you mentioned, Leicester need to score two to advance and sadly they haven't scored too many goals against top teams in actual fact Leicester City Femi coming into the broadcast as you mentioned the terrible final match day strengths they have but against teams above them on the Premier League standings they're yet to pick maximum points and if there's any team who has the mentality to play Champions League football somebody saying Imano you're waxing lyrical now I agree that's what I'm doing it's Manchester United this not only means Manchester United leapfrogs Chelsea because they actually do have a better Goal oh, differential different. to yeah. Chelsea. It means whatever happens in the Europa League, whoever wins it, it's not going to affect Manchester United as long as they finish third. And you called upon him, he's about to answer the mm. funny player. <laughs> uh, I like him, he's still young, but quite. Um, Harvey Barnes? Ha not Harvey Barnes. The Mario Gray. Gray. Yeah. But great goal from Bruno Fernandes. Lost count of the number of goals he scored this season. Uh, in as much as they've refused to score in my centre, uh, we've seen two more and That's the game the BBC chose. Yeah, they've refused to score. <laughs> Um, it just tells you how important it is, sorry. The, yeah. the, the, the home side, uh, they've decided to make another substitution. Uh, uh, Pablo Fonas is off for Lanzini. And for the away side, Samata off for Kenyan Davis. Well, um, uh, Femi, for the Chelsea fans, didn't forget you. Uh, celebrated a little bit of United. Um, <laughs> but um, it's, still, it's still what it is, 2-0 in favour of uh, Chelsea. They don't look like conceding. Um, for our, for our Wolves, they've made four substitutions. Uh, Neves out, Moutinho in, uh, Pondens now in, uh, Vinagre also in. So um, I, they, they are hoping that this um, substitution would turn things around. But this is 70 minutes, Femi, and you, you're asking the question, where are the goals going to come from? Uh, from this uh, Wolves side, Chelsea are bossing every single thing. They are passing uh, with swagger. They are pushing forward. And you have a feeling that if they get into that box once again, they will get the next goal. We're going to the Oracle in just a moment.
but uh, the Leicester uh, um, City manager has responded with fury, uh, changing the men who were guilty of uh, giving that goal, that penalty away. Uh, Chowdhury, Tillemans and Albrighton have all been, been replaced in one fell sweep in a triple substitution right after the goal before the restart. Um, I will let you know the players who've come on in a bit. Uh, Chileberry? Yeah. Well, Femi, the goals keep coming and this time it's at St. Mary's. We've now seen three goals scored there because the home side have come from the dead and they are in front against Sheffield United. It's the home side, Southampton. Che Adams, the man who got the okay. equaliser for them. He's gotten a second goal for Southampton. Uh, but the job was done by Carl Walter Peters from the right-hand side. He drove himself into the 18, took a first-time strike hit a Sheffield United player and then fell kindly to the right foot of Shea Adams who buried it at the left-hand corner of the goalkeeper sports. It's now Southampton 2, Sheffield United 1 at St. Mary's. Well, almost an equaliser for Leicester City. And uh, it was indeed one of the newcomers. Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes, quick turn, the hair alert as ever. Well... Fortunate there, Femi. If there was part of the highlight strike, he would have bitten down there. United uh, have got a quarter of an hour left, Femi. It's very crucial for them to stay. You know, pretty much uh, compact, direct. Um, you mentioned changes the yet to implement um, any. That's the problem with the look at the social. He's you know, quite uncertain at times when it comes to making those changes. And the significance oh. of that United goal it takes them back to third. Yeah. Above Chelsea. Above on goals difference. United with a plus, hmm. uh, with 65 yeah, goals. Yeah, such a yeah. such great distance between themselves and Chelsea. Yeah, in terms of the goals differential, yes. So they are third. If Leicester were to score now, the nerves will return. They have a free kick uh, close to the uh, line on the left. The Marai Gray is sizing this up one of the new entrants alongside Barnes Gray sends it into the box it's a little too high and too reckless and too useless too excited Demar Gray too excited and of course the manager knows it when there's a player who wants to perform he comes on the pitch he wants to you know swing an old course it's quite interesting <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> El, El Lingado. And sometimes you, you question decisions taken by the managers, but um, as a man who United fans will always, always applaud, not because he plays for them, but for that FA Cup triumph um, against uh, was it Crystal Palace. What of the non-performing front three taking off Mason Greenwood, not his afternoon Femi, but you, you can't take anything away from uh, his performances in the Manchester United shirt. He's been pretty much solid, but certainly not today against Leicester City. Well, Lingard is gradually looking like uh, Fabio, one of the uh, Brazilian, Brazilian twins. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, lack of action, it's probably adding some flesh around yeah, the yeah. bench. You know, it's funny, the camera is how they do this thing. Daniel James, who the camera's upon, and should be the one who would come in when it comes to a, a real offensive threat for United. Mm. Uh, he scored more goals than... Lingard hasn't scored in about 20 years, um, as exaggerating, but it's been that long since he got a goal for Manchester United. And Daniel James has been quite um, distant with a few number of matches, few games, I should you know, say, he's, he's played this season for United. But they're getting close, Femi, 78 minutes out there at the King Power Stadium. Well, Femi, I'll also have to add at this stage that for what for, they look like a team that are rebranded. They don't want to be stranded in this game. Um, well, Arsenal may just keep me quiet as there's a chance for the Gunners to score. They are fourth. Good save by goalkeeper Ben Foster to stop Pierre Emerick Obama Young before that opportunity, which came as a result of a quick counter attack for the Gunners. Watford had been the better of the two sides. In fact, the former Arsenal striker Danny Welbeck came very close to giving his side the leveler, and it had to take the brilliance of goalkeeper Martinez for Arsenal. Uh, to save the blushes of his side and I think the second half of this game has just defined Arsenal's season well glorious opportunities coming even as it's cost them <laughs> it's cost them a potential to, uh, top four finish that miscue in the uh, penalty box you get the replay Fede. oh dear the captain has cost them that opportunity to fight back well he is in the United box now trying to make up for that 
Uh, hashing of, of uh, that <laughs> penalty giveaway. Morgan, he did uh, what you what you call the slice kick. Yeah. Totally missing it. And just in front of the post, that would have been tearing the net. Well, United still lead by one. The ball comes into the box. United must play. Vardy gets to it. Vardy. Uh, it's surprising how he got to, it, to it's it ahead of Maguire, Maguire, who was just in front of him. Oh, the nifty fella. That's it. Oh, oh. That was the chance. That was the chance. It's Fermi. Morgan. He knows it. With his weaker left foot. Oh, yeah, that wasn't. Yeah. He was wishing he was there. the one in the box. Look at this man. <laughs> he was laughing at him. <laughs> Say, bro. Look at this man laughing. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> You know, yeah, when, players, when, when players earn about 80,000 pounds a week and, you know, they're, they're in the Premier League, no pressure. Even as City <laughs> continue to extend their lead somewhere. Yeah, Chilebrae has got updates. Oh, oh, we're waiting for visuals, Femi. <laughs> Clearly City. <laughs> uh, Femi, I've got an eye there, but... Um, I'm still waiting for visuals. They, 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 <laughs> <laughs> There's a little of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, we've seen 80 minutes of football played. Yeah. Remember, Femi, the first goal for City. In fact, the first goal scored in that centre was from Hernandez for Norwich City, which was ruled out yeah. uh, for v, uh, from, uh, by the VAR. But then City have uh, since then gone on a seeming scoring spree. Gabriel is just getting the first for them in the 11th minute. And then Kevin De Bruyne uh, assist from Carl Walker. And now it's Raheem Sterling yeah. who have extended the their most, lead. The most captain player in fantasy realm. Oh, absolutely. His yeah. uh, extended their lead from extended the lead for Manchester City is now City three, and the away side Norwich City, who are already down this season, they've got nothing to show for themselves <laughs> after 80 minutes. Now this is how dramatic, this is how dramatic it is yeah. at the bottom between uh, Aston Villa and oh. Bournemouth. Bournemouth are being relegated now. That's because they are winning in their game. They're doing the job. I'm right. I'm anti Sarafina. Yeah, you yes, are. They, yeah. are, they are winning. They, they, but, they've just scored one more for me. Yes. Yes. Now, if they score one more, they have won, it. They've, they've scored, scored one more yeah. for me. So, but ah. it doesn't matter. Until Villa loses. Because Villa must lose. lose yes. Villa are one point ahead of them. They were both on minus 26 yeah. before they scored one more yeah. now. Yeah. Now, so they, they now are now minus 20. Five. Yes. So if 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 um uh, and but more, uh, if, if Aston Villa, Aston Villa yes, concede, if they, if they lose, that they, they, they will be equal on yeah. points. Yes. They will be equal on points. They will be equal on points. Mm -hmm. But then Aston Villa will go to minus twenty-seven. Yeah. Which means Bournemouth Good. will stay. Yeah. And Aston Villa, Villa will, will go be there. relegated too. And Aston Villa yeah. does not look like a side that wants to concede. Mm. They've been playing very, very well, even though they've not scored, but they've been keeping it clean at the back. I mean, it's harder for both teams, Fermi. Bournemouth are away, Villa are also away. I thought it would be hard for... Apologies to all Bournemouth fans. I thought going to the Goodison Park would be really difficult. But West Ham do have a free kick in a great great place now. They haven't scored too many. Great, spaces. great. And they've taken out Antonio. Yeah, they yeah, have. Yeah, they've they taken out Antonio. out in the second half. They've got a couple of players, and this is where the experience of Pepe Reina should come in. Well, Leicester City are coming. Hey. From the right, Amare Gray takes out William Schultz and goes narrowly wide. Well, I'm not sure what the manager is pointing about. They're complaining about something. There is a yellow card to, to boot. Matic. Oh, the Oh, it oh, it's took a, a deflection. It took a deflection. And Leicester oh. want, they want a That's corner. A corner. It's a corner. But the referee didn't see it. it. I, I think it's from the angle we're seeing it. I'm not sure he took a deflection. He, he did take he a did. deflection. A That's a corner. It was obvious. That's a corner. There's no VAR for corner kick, so this, this thing's at But Leicester referee. coming back again. Vardy goes down. Referee gives a free kick. And it's just 20, 22 yards out. There's no James Madison. Why is Madison? But they do have Tillemans. He's still on the pitch. They've, so they've taken off Tillemans. Oh, fair enough then. They have no one for him on the pitch. <laughs> Absolutely no one. Yeah, Afadi can't take it. Yeah, he can't take it. Just before the, the free kick. Evans wants to take it. <laughs> just just, just because, before the free kick, Freddy. Let me just let Chelsea fans know. Two that substitutions have been made. Okay. Uh, Tammy Abraham has, has come on. 
and okay. uh, uh, Callum Hudson Odoi also. Uh, so no Olivier Giroud, no Christian Pulisic. They are all out. So um, we are still leading to nil. All right. The ball has been pushed just a little back now. 83 and a half minutes. Goodness, it's been pushed to exactly 24 yards out. Oh, 24 yards out. Damari Gray. If he scores now, then what a final six minutes we will have. I will be in the studio. Gray. He takes it. Takes the deflection. It looked like a very good free kick. But uh, took a deflection and it's a corner. But that looked dangerous enough. Well, man. It did, it looked, sure. it looked My heart stopped for a it did, it split did, it second. Did go take the corner. I mean, it's easier to score a freak again, the corner kick. <laughs> but you never know players bundle balls into the old net. Uh, Iberio would have an update in a bit because there's something going down. You should go see that with his update. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the goals keep coming, Femi. I'll tell you about it. I think Johnny Evans is about to score. Ah. <laughs> well, the corner comes into the box. Well, there's some pushing. And finally, it's floated again. Evans was waiting, but it was headed clear. There's some pulling and dragging. Referee has spotted an infringement. Man United's free kick. Femi at the Etihad is one man who can't stop scoring. We had Marais, who scored lots of goals for City this season. He's found himself on the score sheet yet again for Manchester City. He's gotten the fourth for them as they get the ball at the back of the net. It's Man City four. Norwich City nail at the Etihad. You know, something about our fixture, Femi, even as uh, the cameras pan on Scorti, is the acknowledgement of a legend who would no longer play in the Premier League, uh, David Silva. It's just, you know, I'm, it's hurting them. I'm not seeing the live pictures. Ah, <laughs> ah he's going off. My captain. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, why, why are you quiet all of yeah, a sudden? It's, it's, <laughs> you know, I'm talking about City, but United are giving me palpitation. <laughs> uh, but then again, all salutations to David Silva. I was. I think I pretty much just do a 30 minutes uh, tribute to his his time um, at Manchester City. But for now, based on updates, it's Bruno Fernandes who just might be the reason why United are in the Champions League um, have been taken off for a player who, prior to Bruno's coming to Old Trafford, was one of United's best performer in Scotty Scott McTominay. And that was Jesus. What did Jesus oh, do? Go finally. The finally, drama. Finally, the finally, the finally. drama is finally, finally here. They've scored. They are heading Everyone, for safety. Everybody no, has been jumping. saying that there's no goal, there's no goal. So finally, they're wayside talking about Aston Villa. Really They've been the able game. to score away from home. They lead one goal to nothing. I'm trying to get a goal scorer for it's that it's one. It's the captain. I, yeah, yeah, the captain really I, I said Frederick. it earlier that uh, he might be playing his last game for Aston Villa. That was what I said. That's not what's happening here. By the way, yes. Yeah. Goes into no, the you back will not of the be relegated net. Villa don't care. Dean <laughs> Smith doesn't care. Huge celebrations down below us. Has the captain, the leader, has he kept Villa up? Looks that way. It does. It does look that way. Alan Green, one of the finest of the game, family, leading the BBC commentary team. How they chose this fixture as their star game <laughs> is incredible. At least for the African audience, but time for that your moment. Well, you yes. still have to wait it's, because it's, the VAR yeah. has to check it. Yeah. What is VAR checking? It will be hard for me. <laughs> what is VAR checking? Wh wh whoever is the referee in the boots cannot deny Villa this celebration. No, no. As much as AFC Burma have done great to score three goals to keep themselves in the league, he had to take the final match day. Gra this Greenwich guy is one of the reasons why I'm finishing fourth in the Fantasy Premier League. I've had him since match day 10. Two, 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 <laughs> two. I showed him out and he's, he's, he's delivering it's the goods for me. It's popping. Even as Leicester make a change. Well, yeah, equalizer. Let's see how <laughs> Which kind of god is that? This is not the sports guy, but that's good. Let's try this thing. <laughs> and it's two. The second goal. It's 1 1. 1 1. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, West Ham just put one back. Hey, just like that. Yarmolenko chops inside on his left foot. Villa thought they'd done enough with the Grealish goal. <laughs> Takes a deflection, I have to say, my first impressions of the goalkeeper, I think he's so slow, Pepe Reina. I think the deflection comes off Jack Grealish, loops up, but I think Reina has to get his feet moving. So the drama is back, Sarafina, well, eh? No, no, so long as good, there's no problem. So, <laughs> it goes to well, keep coming in. It's still the same thing, right? It's still the same thing. West Ham United are still yeah. going to be in the Premier League. Yeah. Villa will still be in the Villa Premier League. Villa and West Ham will still remain in the Premier League. The only thing... The only way that uh, Aston Villa will get relegated is if they lose. If they go on to lose. If they go on to lose, even if they concede, it's not a problem. If they draw, it's not a problem. But they must not lose. And for me, the early 2000s, yeah. 
it's at a time like this that you hear the commentator say it's a ding dong affair. Mm. Like, I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> almost killed us with that ding dong, ding dong, ding and, dong. And, and how they are making incursions. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and dilly dallying. Uh, but it, it, it's funny now because you've got predominantly Manchester United fans in the studio. If not, this could have been like a walk to the morgue. Um, yeah, because it's going to take a miracle of epic proportions to have Leicester City score two goals. Um, uh, it's not a happy face he's got uh, Brendan Rodgers but just a reminder again for Liverpool fans or fans across the world who want to win that authentic signed jersey from our friends at Tiger with all you've got to do is answer the question the number of uh, victories Liverpool have achieved this season we'll tell you more about how you can come and join the training online to learn currency trading once the uh, broadcast ends but the question just to be exact how many competitive games have Liverpool Football Club won so far this season and please Jürgen Klopp do not bring on Trent Alexander-Arnold. I beg you. Mm, back to, to the play. commentary fixture, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, even on this day... I've got Mama remixed in four different places. So <laughs> if you just type Faji <laughs> Fab Mama, you'd see. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know, but, you know, somehow, Femi, mm. in all fairness now, based on the current standing, I don't think anyone will feel hurt. Nobody. It's the least expected to advance that are still that are trailing. Yeah. Leicester City. Yeah. yeah so they are trying to deny. They are them, trying to deny Mama. They just they've, they've weakened my production <laughs> skills. Because <laughs> I threw in one talk like the okay. yeah. So it was. Uh, yeah. I was okay, as yeah. I was doing it, I was saying it behind. <laughs> now nah, you didn't do this before. <laughs> It was not so nice. I remember I walked into the production studio and saw me looking all sad. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop myself doing it because I was just saying, you're doing this for Manchester United. Even the city, Chidebere with the updates, are making it a five star performance. It's 90 minutes already. Chidebere. Oh, uh, tired of the goals, really. Yeah, it's it's five five they, they star performance yeah. from Manchester City. But uh, Femi, elsewhere, Sadio Mane <laughs> have just yet again increased the lead <laughs> for Liverpool. They are away at the St. James's Park. And Sadio Mane, the Senegalese, have gotten himself on the score sheet. First was Virgil van Dijk. Second was the sweet goal from Divo Origi. Unstoppable that strike. And Sadio Mane makes it. Newcastle 1, Liverpool 3. And uh, it's clearly game over in that centre. Yeah. What a way to bow out from the champions. Assist provided by Roberto Firmino. We've played 90 minutes in this encounter. Five have been added. Anything can happen. But um, as Chileberry just mentioned uh, City earlier on, it, it, it will be a standing ovation. Emmanuel had mentioned it. Standing ovation uh, 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 for one guy. Oh, there, are no, no, there are no crowds in the stadium to give David Silva a standing ovation. But he will still be uh, fighting back the tears. Yeah. It's his 309th. 309th uh, appearance for Man City and it's the final one uh, for City 34 years of age regarded, regarded as one of the club's greatest ever players, the key figure in transforming City into the dominant domestic force over the past few years he's helped the club win 11 major trophies in 10 years but in June he told us he would leave at the end of this season. In his words, 10 years for me is enough. Uh, yeah. It's the perfect time for, for me. <laughs> and we say thank you to him thank for you, the David memories. And even as we say that, United have a defend, some defending to do. Schmeichel, Schmeichel is in the box. <laughs> they just want to equalize. Demarai Gray to supply his come. It's yeah, it's about oh, referee has decided. <laughs> Good Lord, me! <laughs> but referees are spoiled sports. Whoever you want, them play. You know, I mean, what do you want? I don't I know. know. Do I want goals. <laughs> What is it all? I don't know. What's the DC had for me, please? Oh, I Femi. mean, that's where we are. That's where we are celebrating David uh, Silva. David Silva. I have always mentioned how you necessarily don't need to support a team to love a player mm -hmm. of your rival size. A Manchester United fan I am, Toro Bread won. But there are few players in rival teams that I would always, always salute. And top of that chart is David Silva. His, his, mm. like Trent Alexander Arnold at Liverpool to me. The mm. players who are just lovable mm. you know start from the history at a point he had issues with his kid it was one of the reasons why the entire world rallied around him but the baby came out and i think it was pretty much uh, premature but uh, the child is doing fine now it was it was quite an emotional period for david silver then he's just 
almost because I don't know him in person, but based on the views, he's he's a perfect Gen two man. So, mm. oh, red card! Oh, yeah. red card. Oh, congratulations, red card United are in the Champions League family. <laughs> Thank you, David Silva. Thank you for, for your, your time. Thank you for your service. And um, God bless you. Memories bring back. Yes. Memories bring back. Thank you very much. All right. Um, well, Femi, were you a DJ back in Ibadan? <laughs> yes, I was. Okay. Ah, he, gets okay. he gets one. He gets one. He gets one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, it is. It is. It is. Femi, yeah, Femi I know what has happened in this game today. He's yeah. an agent. Yeah. Johnny Evans. X man you. X man you. He <laughs> gave that penalty and now he's collected a red card. <laughs> this guy is an agent. Johnny know, Evans. This looks serious. Though. Yeah, he has killed somebody. No, it's Scott McTominay. He's sadly yeah. because he just came back from injury. And so it's heartbreaking. He's a young chap who is quite. You know, important to the United setup, and that's not what agents do, Chuma. He needs to be investigated. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what Petr Cech did uh, uh, to, 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 to Chelsea in a Champions uh, Europa League final because yeah. he knew he was going to go back to Chelsea. They, they trained together, didn't when they? When he leaves us now, <laughs> didn't he train with McTominay? Yeah, Maybe it's uh, a feud, feud unresolved. Oh, the young lad is rolling on the top. He's up now. He's in pain. Femi, full time in some centers. And uh, it looks like, I mean, it, it's so emotional, yeah. really, because it's the final game of the season. It is, it is. And it, it feels like c the coronavirus shut down, made us miss football a whole oh, lot. We did. We and did. just when it's back, we it's did. ending. But then full time in four match centers already at St. Mary's, Southampton have turned things around for themselves. It's ended there. Southampton three, Sheffield United one. The third goal. I didn't mention it came off the penalty spot. Danny Ings, 21 goals this season. You can make that 22. He's called from the penalty spot to ensure the victory for the home side Southampton. 3-1, the full-time score, uh, full-time result. And Liverpool at the same chances back is ended as well in favor of the Reds. 1-3, uh, uh, the result United as well. about to score free kick. So there is no last-minute twist on the final day of this game here there won't be at the top there won't be at the bottom well Pogba was uh, you know trying to be cheeky he tried to unleash early he's changed his mind and he just keep possession Man United from off that free kick while they are waiting the referee uh, to end this game we've seen 96 minutes played 95 minutes were added, but um, the injury and uh, subsequent sending off, the injury to McTominay and sending off of Johnny Evans uh, clearly chipped off some of those those minutes. Indeed, Femi, just looking at the Premier League table and it's, 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 it's incredible what City have done to the Premier League, giving us a favour over Labour. It's coming when Labour is, is exhausted I'm telling you but they just need the favor yeah they just need the favor now a bit Gala. of the flavor of the favor mm. ah, to yeah. Africa, yeah. don't leave me he's <laughs> blessed he's blessed with the rhyme to so. crown their endeavor I, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I got i got carried away about david silver there was something i wanted to say about david oh, silver oh, oh, me forgive my misbehavior i had to interrupt you <laughs> i forgive my misbehavior Femi. <laughs> what has he got what? to do i did bad for me i did bad <laughs> say what he doesn't, he doesn't have anything to say i just wanted to drop that rhyme i beg Hot. okay all right no problem just leave it <laughs> monday morning will come <laughs> you will hear from jumoke um, for his behavior yes <laughs> yes now uh, david silva arrived from valencia in 2010. he did he cost 24 million pounds i think yes 24 million pounds jesus at that time a second goal it is for united he does it by oh, oh, my God. Oh, Hero! I used to have him in my team! Hey. <laughs> Hero of Manchester United. He's done it Woo. at Wembley. He's doing it at the King Park Stadium. This is a gift on a silver platter. Well, Schmeichel was just shocking. Um, 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 body. Is it? Uh, that's it what I asked. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only man who's licensed to dribble. Not even Alison back at the Liverpool goalkeeper. His players Anderson. were waiting for him to boot the ball. He decided to dribble. Lingard said, thank you. I'll finish. Well, I, I think he go just, ahead, he just put yeah. himself in the 
bad books for Leicester City fans because they'll be looking. We had a fighting chance, but now we no, we they don't. No, they, 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 they are exhausted. Uh, they are yeah, exhausted. A, a, a draw would have, would have still would have still. He needs to be investigated fight. in case his father spoke to him. He needs to be investigated. Kima, don't start this conspiracy. <laughs> his father may have spoken to him. <laughs> this one to mind you. I've never seen this part of you. I've never seen this part of you ever. Please don't bring out this conspiracy theory. All right, but Jesse Lingard, Femi, he's just cemented it. United will play Champions League football and the icing on the cake will be United winning the Europa League. And I'm feeling like um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer now. What a press conference is going to have. Uh, well, just... just, so just Femi, to... Femi, it's done and dusted. AFC Bournemouth alongside Watford and Norwich, and Norwich City. City are out of the English Premier League. Well, congratulations to mm. Chelsea fans and Chelsea. Set. They are also through to the UEFA Champions League. Fourth place it might be, but Important regardless... to mention their position. Uh, yeah, regardless, uh, they are uh, through to the Champions League. It's done. It's dusted. Frank Lampard and his boys walking off the pitch, clapping to an empty stadium is what he's doing, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Uh, Chelsea fans Liverpool will be waving happy. to an empty stadium <laughs> <laughs> when they gave them the trophy. They were doing like this, like, ah. Well, so the guys uh, like, on, the, on the block, the Zoom fans, <laughs> they are there. They, they want to see the celebrations for me. But, you know, something positive still for Leicester City, aside from playing in the Europa League, they've got the top scorer in the Premier League this season in Jamie Vardy, his first top scorer award, and I think he's someone who's absolutely deserving of the title, going by his story. As I mentioned five years ago, Vardy was playing non-league football for Fleet Wu Tao in 2020 is Premier League's top scorer at 33. Mm. That's incredible. Amazing. Amazing. So just before I was rudely interrupted by Chile Berry, by the gods. <laughs> by the gods. Uh, um, ten, 10 years of David Silva in, in the Premier League, he gave us 60 goals in those 10 years and 93 assists. Um, you know, for a guy yeah. who's never been mentioned in the same breath as Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo or Neymar for that matter. Um, but he was very efficient, did his job quietly, always kept his head down, seemed rather humble, not known to be one of the loud, loud mouths of world football, but super, super efficient for Spain and for his clubs, uh, uh, for, for Tottenham. Uh, um, whom he served diligently before moving on. That's a hefty return. And as we say bye-bye to him and bye-bye to this coronavirus reading uh, um, uh, 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 football season, uh, we, we just want to say our best thanks to everybody who made things happen. Emmanuel, what's happening? It's, it's some important record, start yes, very important. I just realized now, again, as we're celebrating David Silva, we will give you eulogies to the Premier League player of the season. It's not official, but this is my award to Kevin De Bruyne. He's mm. also broken Thierry Henry's assist record. He gave two assists this season, 20 assists. At first, he required one today to match Thierry Henry's record, uh, which Henry set back in 2002-03, Arsenal's invisible campaign. And then he's helped himself to an extra one. So, he's the top assist provider for the third time in the last four seasons. But this particular campaign is special because it becomes the first to provide 20 plus since Henri way back in 2000. He sh he's the Premier League player of the season. Not the, no one can stop it. It's hard to, no see, it's hard it. to see any individual player nah. who, who's better, no one. who was better than Kevin De Bruyne at this season. Um, yeah, you know, I had to remind a few people who were, who were losing Woo! their temper over the award to Henderson, yeah. which was the uh, what's Writers, Writers Award. Yeah, Football Writers Award. Football Writers Award. Yeah. That's the English press doing their thing. Um, we'll wait to see who will be officially named yeah, Premier we'll League see. player yeah. of, uh, of the season. I don't think they'll be funny. I don't think they'll be funny. Well, perhaps. Some, maybe. Yeah. Some, some would look at it and maybe... Mane will also be oh, yeah. huge chance. Uh, um, have a, a huge, huge chance, but if there's one guy who stood out in the Premier League, it's Kev, it's been Kevin De Bruyne, uh, from my perspective. It has ah. been. So you can. Uh, well, it, it's a shame, yeah, though. You no one is talking about Danny Ings, 22 goal. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll give him a handshake yes, and yes, I'll yes, take course. him to Buckingham Palace to see the Queen. Femi, I think it's better to do the classification now. Uh, the Champions League teams, um, Wolves are going to play Europa League football, but their prayer would be for Arsenal to lose the FA Cup final. Mm. That's the only way Wolves can play Europa League, because if Arsenal go on to win, by virtue of winning the, Europe, the, the FA, FA Cup, Cup, they take that seventh position. But if Chelsea, who beat them today, do them a favour by beating the corners in Wembley, at Wembley, they take this position. Hi, Jim Jim. 
Yeah. How you doing? But, uh, That's our PA, by the way. You can call the cameras like to see yeah, what she's she here for. She's here for Chidi, really, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, I mean, you were warned. Uh, apologies, by the way. I'm not sure if everyone would allow us to take comments. But Please. I don't know how you want to do it. You want allow, to take, take comments. Take comments, then. Take, let's take let's calls. calls first. Right, okay. then. 0700 993 oh. PA. <laughs> then I feel like you see your mates. You see your mates. You see your mates. Seven seven hundred. wrong number. Zero seven hundred nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three. Do well to turn the volume of the radio set down. Chop chop. Hello, hey, Mr. Fabi. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, uh, shout out to everybody in the studio. Imagine Namdi Chidibere. Safina Chuma. This Chidibere is for sale. <laughs> he just okay. came in. You cannot. You cannot sell it. And nobody can pay price. Oh, mm. of course. Um, <laughs> 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 What's that? <laughs> it's all right. Well, he's gone. Hello? Hello? Oh, I lost the connection. Hi. That's a lady, by the way. And she was mm. also tracking the West Ham game. Hi there. Hey! <laughs> 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 Marcel, please tell me first, where is it in the studio? <laughs> Oh, I'm give my one Welcome. Welcome. Oh, I my son, the joke I said, I have I don't enter. No, no, enter yet. for life. Hello. Applause! Applause! Who are we going to play, Mama? That's the thing. With all my miriks and remakes, everything just Hello. Hello, Ima. Hi, Joe. Welcome. Yeah, how you guys doing? We're good. We're, We're good. Right. We're good. Hey, hey, Joe Baba, how are you? Yes, boss. Very good. Yeah. Honestly speaking, um, I am so so happy for Aston Villa, the Villians. As now, to my own understanding, mm. give them a lot of favor. I hope FA is not hearing me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly speaking, As now does not have any business of losing that game that day. Yeah. I was expecting a draw. I just I told Ifoma on that day when I called. But Aston Villa defeating Arsenal gave them that we can do it. And just imagine the way they manage mm -hmm. game management playing against and the West Ham that are already are sure of no relegating. Mm -hmm. And to Watford, maybe Troy Dini will join Arsenal now because he always taunts Arsenal. Because of Troy Dini, mm -hmm. I, ho I, I was praying and I... My prayer hands are that they had they they are relegating. Not 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 a good one for um, what's it called? Webeg. Yeah. But uh, all, Afna former player always score against us, no problem. Mm -hmm. But I am disappointed at um, some goals that Afna were conceding. Mm -hmm. I mean, leading three one. I mean, I mean, even the penalty. Look at the tackle and what's it called? The Ws was, you know, giving out in a yeah. box. They think he should have warranted the red card and a penalty. That man should you know, sit up. Against against um, uh, what's it called? It, Chelsea is another ball game. But in in all in all fairness, Chelsea Manchester United deserve their win. I never expected United to win, but I knew too well uh, they would make it to the Champions League. And too many errors. Mm -hmm. I mean, unnecessary. That wait, what's it called? Rogers will be substituting Enacho. Enacho to me does not have business of going out of that game. He was in the game. Look at the, the, the crosses that came, like two or three that came, that it was in the position of Enacho to use his, you know, southpaw to hit those shots. That's and why he was he, laughing at Morgan. He was laughing. That I mean, that laughing would mean a lot that if I were there, something would have happened. So, why United won that game was an error from Brandon Rogers, and that is why he's still a rookie coach. Hmm. All right, interesting. Let's go see how many more for me. Mm, two. How many can we take? A couple more. Yeah, sorry. Is it not Sarah Finna? Though? It, it is, yeah. It's a bro. So just two calls and uh, we'll take Facebook. Please bless that job. She's a very dumb bride, Facebook evening. people. Now, hey, hey, babe. Hello. How am I, babe? Hello, good evening. Uh, uh, good evening. Yeah, good evening, dear. How are you? Hi. 
I'm fine, thank you. You are my is mommy Ella calling from oh, Ijegu. Mommy Ella. Ah, okay. You don't pay him. I'm still waiting for you, mommy Ella. Now send it, please. Okay, send, 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 send it now. Send I'm with the tab. Send it now, please. Okay. Okay, I will send now, it. Now, now. I'm very disappointed with Lester City. <laughs> ah, what's happening? The level is there. The level that I've never seen the beginning of season for Manu United. For them to just come down for Manu. That's Bruno Fernandes. That's Fibo. Thank you so much. Fibo over there. Fibo over there. Fibo over there. Fibo over there. Hello? Hello. Good evening to Femi Abiga. Good evening to you. No, oh, this is Friday. Thank God that the first league of the season, my, my call went through and it was big. And today, my call also came through. Oh, God, Femi, hey. look at, look at uh, Marcel. Celebrate it all for the way you <laughs> said. The way he was used to celebrate it all for today. <laughs> look at our guy, Marcel. Why are you like this? Even with Marcel, Nancy himself. At the time, I thought that I, I, I was just picking. I hope you put him on an at the middle so that he will not run out of the studio. When my you get him on an you are the head of my. I think you need to apologize to public. You now apologize to Asenwenga. When he said top four was a trap, you people were mocking. Then it wasn't. Look at, it wasn't. Look, look, now it is. Look at what Liverpool has done to Premier League. Oh, even at this moment, Liverpool is the. At this moment, Gaffney. We are still the defending champion of Champions League. Uh, Nobody has says. to. <laughs> we right. are still the defending champion of Champions League. Even to August. Nobody has done it before. To defend the Champions League to August. <laughs> <laughs> what a record. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for calling, Femi. We're going to let you go. <laughs> if you allow him, carry on, Femi. <laughs> Femi, I told a prophecy. Yeah, okay. A long time ago. Uh, and you can put a call to Angie Kalela and confirm. Yeah. Yeah. And people don't give me the credit I, I, I deserve. No, I said, w- when Leicester were hot, yeah. Yeah. when Leicester were hotting on top of the table, and yeah. somebody were second, you know, yeah. I-, I was sleeping. It was around. Leicester ever on the top, oh, at the top of the yeah, table? Yeah, they, were, they were on top of, no, they were on top of Man City and they were second on the oh, table. Oh, yeah, they were the second time. at yeah. the point. True, and they were beating true, everybody, true, home true. and away. And oh, they look, were really good. It was a point, Sunday yeah. night. I-, I finished my shot and I said, let me get a nap, <laughs> you know, my human form. And I, I got the tap <laughs> like this. I got the tap like this for me, just like this. And the gods woke me. And they started showing me things, what was going to happen today. I didn't want, I didn't want to feel like I was bragging. Uh, so I didn't want to tell you all the scoreline. If you had asked me, Femi, I would have told you the result for said it, Magic 38. So you can, you know, make some money you off it. You don't like money. But, you know, <laughs> Leicester they told me Leicester would not make top four. I, it, was, it, was, it was sweet. It was calm. The gods have never spoken but to me. But I knew that, that several before. weeks back and the gods didn't tell me anything. So for me, I knew that several <laughs> months back. <laughs> okay. All right. On, fa- on Facebook, by the way, or do you hear me say, it's okay, Femi, please help man, help, I'm sure he's saying, help me play Man United song, Glory, Glory, Man United. Obi Mosi Shino, this is United should thank Bruno Fernandes. Uh, they pay him his wages. He's going to perform. Uh, Olufade Olakunle says, kudos to you guys. Or as Sam say, kudos. Uh, United for life uh, from Ikberu, Remo, Ogun State. Ah, shout out to Remo. Uh, Adeo Mo Oloja says, What a season. Congrats to Manchester United and Chelsea. This comments are via our Facebook live stream. It's still on Tunde. Like I said, your cojones is even more than someone from Afghanistan. Um, Tolu Shokumbi says, Okay, so that was a surprising goal. Only if it was scored by Manchester United. Uh, I'm not sure what that meant. Steven Oyebode says, Well done, guys. This is a full house. Kudos for the great job. You're doing good. Femi and the gang. Steven from Ilaye. I'll take five more. Because it's quite a lot. Uh, Ola Bli says, thank you, my darling United. Thank you, guys. Watching you guys live. God bless you all. Um, Jalil Agbola says, the sky is blue right now. It's always been blue. Mm-hmm. Joseph, just... G- huh? yeah. Joseph Jesus. Is it also? They say Joseph Jesus. You know, when I see Only that, one person. Uh, hmm. That yeah. name needs to share. To um, can you give me the result Shoot. between Chelsea and Wolves? Uh, 2-0, Chelsea won. Uh, glory, 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 the blues. No, they blue. don't have that. It's, uh, no. it's blue is the color. Blue is the color, yeah. which is glory. Yeah. Yeah. We are still glory. Well, one more message, because it's a lot on Facebook. Alessito Lopez says, Omo Oba, I can't... Eh? Omo Oba, I can't... I can't. Oh, Femi, this is your bar. Omo Oba, I can't buy me, Michael. Up, up, Chelsea. Chelsea for life. Shame 
uh, to my brother Olumi Day and Olu Walu, Chelsea for life. I don't know you did. He cast them for Facebook. He cast them for Facebook. Shame to all my family members. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he might be the only Chelsea fan there and so maybe the only fan. Uh, so the lines are still buzzing. You've got WhatsApp messages and tweets to read, Femi, if you may. Oh, or we'll just uh, wrap up and have Sarafina carry on. Let's see. Um, uh, yeah. Before Sarafina carries on. Yeah, yeah okay. Before there are a lot of tweets, bottom. quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, a whole lot. So let's take uh, some of... Guys, we may not be able to take most of your yeah. tweets. Yeah. Um, no we might want to quickly retweet so that we can um, see. Hey. Uh, uh-huh. Again, <laughs> Day Esther says, Shebi Unasi say, not be who first call police, now him they win case. I tell you. Yeah, true I, uh, uh, Leicester City just labor for nothing and give it all to Man United. Blues the club. On to the next FA Cup final. Yeah. Esther, thank you for that. Toby the Great says, Leicester threw the chance away. Hmm. They were very close to overtaking City at some point. But now they won't even feature in the Champions League. So bad yeah. for the Foxes. Ibuku, can you please... Okay. okay. This one is busy. In, uh, yeah, this one is responding to someone back else. and yeah. forth with... Yeah, okay. This guy is... Uh, he and one other guy... Yeah, they fight for at, Twitter. Yeah, they, they fight since. <laughs> Don't tire. Uh, Benedict says, yeah. so sad to see Bournemouth it's quite go down. sad. They, they tried. Yeah, they were a very decent team. Congratulations to United... And Chelsea. London is blue. Wow, it's all over. 2019 20. Congrats, United and Chelsea, Bournemouth. I sympathize with you. We will come back in the 2021 2022 season. Hmm. Football, bloody hell, he says. Yeah. Uh, won't you play 20, 2020 stroke 21 season first before you begin to worry about 21 <laughs> to 22? <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed every bit of the commentary. Salafina, God saved you. <laughs> 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 for the report championship <laughs> <laughs> coming home tweeted see us Friday they tackle you I- uh, Ima see us Friday they tackle you Chai Mr. Femi you've done an amazing job keeping us busy during the pandemic uh, break you guys are so brilliant in what you do Chidebere go back oh, <laughs> take your gods with you back to Wiki City <laughs> The way you pronounce that, that week, 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 week. almost something has almost. Please give, not, give, give the gum. No, it's full time. Is it bon more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 This one will be formal platform. Somebody put. It's I Twitter. Would you put Gov the Wiki on Twitter? <laughs> put Wiki you don't mind me, I just it sees. But I feel you. I understand. One extra letter just came to my mind after the. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But let's just leave it. Uh, Arox J. Well, I see oh, people they tweet money. There's money here, oh, dollars. Oh. You don't chop, bro. Eh? Six, 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 uh, uh, six hundred and seventy. Uh, no, he lost because <laughs> he, he bet on Lingard <laughs> to not score for the entirety of the season. Uh, and Lingard decides to score Lingard. in the seventh minute of added time. Uh, this guy in this the guy final will, match of the season. Of Leicester City, see this thing. This guy will hate Lingard for the rest of the season. There are actually some players like there's one player who forgets to talk to Michael for the rest of his life. Where he put ten pounds to make 600 yeah, and it, something yeah, pounds. Uh, pounds that Lingard will not score a goal this season. And see when he score. And, 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 and he was counting out the final few seconds <laughs> nah, of the nah, game, one game cast by Ready tickets. for Thanksgiving uh, in yes. church. Yeah. Yeah. One this game happens. cast by ticket. On action bed. Because you know, highly spiritual. Game, even if you cast your ticket. So it's different. They will pay you. They will pay you. you if know, not 40 games, you carry your ball. Should, they should actually query the Manchester United. We were family. The Premier League guys are speaking to uh, Peter. Peter Schmeichel. <laughs> ask him about his son. I told you. <laughs> they were asking Peter. Peter, are you happy or are you sad? <laughs> I bet you guys are going to let me choke on water. Um, uh, Arox J, Mr. Femi, please tell United fans that it's top four, not trophy. Yeah. Chuma, I salute to... Salute. <laughs> <laughs> you people didn't win trophies. You said it's top four, not trophy. Yeah, but we've to it. It's a trophy. I know. Alon, inshallah, it's marvelous. It's you people. I was alive when you people were insulting my uh, arsenal. <laughs> 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 Good evening, Femi and the gang. I was expecting Leicester City to beat Man U, you but congratulations to Man U, Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Aston Villa for their victory. Thank you um, for that. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Ah. Is that it? Ah, there's this one. Okay. Tell Fina, F- tell Fina, Fina Napoleon. She is lucky. Very lucky. We we're all waiting to see what's under the dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ima is the happiest man in the studio. I agree. I'm sure, Mr. Femi, you guys are amazing. Okay. Ima is the happiest man in the studio, I'm sure. Mr. Femi, you guys are amazing for keeping us busy during the pandemic break. God bless your team. 
blessing. And tell Chidebere to go back. He just what needed to reiterate that. The girls don't miss uh, the city. Mm. <laughs> Victor Okechuku says, great round off. No mama tonight. Uh, oh my uh, Femi, I beg, just we have to root, look for an excuse. We need to play that my production skills. Let's, who do we play? You cannot waste it. Uh, See, for, 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 Leicester, for, for Leicester. For starting on a high, Leicester Whoa, who, City. Who, for starting Leicester. on a high. No, they yeah. don't deserve it. No, 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 no. I know who to play mama for. Ask now for having the temerity <laughs> not to even be in the top seven. <laughs> Chuma, fear what mama, is it? Fear snappers. <laughs> Chuma, I don't follow you, talk down. No. You I, are, you are. Oh, actually, I thought I would really like to play mama for us now, man. Why are you playing it for? <laughs> you are just no, playing it no, for Chuma, the Chuma. <laughs> for Chuma's temerity. Ask snappers. No, that's it. You are playing. You are playing. The man of us come for This is my production skill. According to Chuma. Uh, Chelsea fumble because I was you killed this oh, man. Killed it, did, man. Did, did, did. Try. Again, Mike check one two. Thank God still before mine because that was what I was thinking. Uh. Nima, now United get this Ayele. <laughs> it's our production. <laughs> Cut you, Mama. Oh, oh Mirix, Mirix. Imagine it was Chelsea or Mike. <laughs> Look, Mirix. If, if mine you, if mine you had finished below Chelsea, ah. would have played Mama even if they. They got him. No, so. why? why? But but the the fight, what, the what, what do you profit to beat Chelsea three times in a season and still finish <laughs> below them? Uh, but, uh, and still, <laughs> and still, they and then they will now probably win FA Cup again. It's like you That's have the, the reason why. What else? <laughs> <laughs> no well, let, let, let's yeah. congratulate Jamie Vardy, top scorer officially again. for the 2019-2020 oh, yeah. yeah. season. Yeah. But let me, three goals for that guy who's over yeah. 30. Yeah. 33. Stuff. Mm-hmm. 33. Fantastic. Well, let me just want to ask now, fans, if you don't beat Chelsea. In the, the FA Cup the final, Cup, yeah. the mama oh, not yeah. gonna be here. Yeah. Yeah. It's we'll, their competition. We'll play friendly. remix, Mirix, <laughs> mix re. Yeah. There will be new version. Please let's hear this version again oh. on the stop. Okay, on play this. Stop. Let's hear this new version. Just yeah, a taste of what will suffer. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Mr. Chairman, sir. Mr. Chairman. No, 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 no. no. So, 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 me, 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 no. I, 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 I want to talk to my sister. I want to tell my sister. No, no, you were not in the committee. Just picture for me if it was one nil to Leicester City in the 88 minutes, this would have been the mic check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DJ scratches, scratches, scratches. Yeah. If it was one nil to Leicester, 88 minutes, United yeah. fans, you could just be scratching. I'm sure they would have become Republicans now. <laughs> But so we should, plans. I'm happy it didn't work out. <laughs> we should look for an excuse yeah, to play my, uh, Mama too for Man City for all the money nah. and all the players. Nah, yeah, yeah, they yeah, they if they finish this season with only Carabao Cup, True. Yeah. but Femi, yeah. they, they, they scored over 100 and f- I was going to mention that. They should go and see 100 that. And Five or six goals this season. Yeah, they should spare. Goal they should have over 100. How much will he profit there? How do you score? <laughs> I'm telling you. And so far away just, from the top. Just, just look at Leicester. Mm. Leicester's goals difference was, yeah. was uh, almost similar to United. Mm-hmm. But Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea's it wasn't, it goal wasn't difference the meeting, was 15. He's using the right word. Ayo will be happy with Nadi. <laughs> no, you know the meeting, but you're using the right yeah, word. Yeah, you're using the right word. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Please give yeah, this. Give this to Chidebere to put in the trash. Yeah, yeah, City please, the gods, the gods. Just to get confirmation rate, again. Yeah. City, give, over it, give it to you. Give it to you. Over 100 again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, over 100 yeah. goals they scored this season. I don't think we should laugh at Man City. I beg, let's go back to the phone lines. All right, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sarafina, how many calls? Well, well, Somebody three? should please do WhatsApp. Three because WhatsApp. Sarafina, you have WhatsApp. She has the platform. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Okay, all right. Uh-huh. So, phone lines we go. 0700 993 993 993. Hello. Hello. That's a Leicester City fan. Just now, good Hi there. Good evening, Femi and the gang. Good evening, my brother. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Mm. It's Lando in the Kolodrizi location. Obi Zenas remains the name. How is Fabregas? Fabregas is fine. He's sending his regards. All right, talk to us. Um, it's a very good one. Um, you know, I don't want to say much about this. Since I know it's the last game of this season. A whole lot of people have been bundling and um, saying this club side is this. We've seen their measurement right now. So the mm. only... 
forward, me, I'm looking forward right now is just the final of the FA Cup. So hmm. If Chelsea like, me, they just allow Arsenal just beat them. You know, that's the thing. But before I go, F F um, Femi and the guys, please. Hmm. Today, 26, 26, is my 12th year anniversary of wedding. Oh, congratulations! God bless your marriage, your business. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, what yeah. song? Yeah. What song can we dedicate? Thanks to this for being couple? an inspiration to Namdi in advance. Yeah. <laughs> and you look at this one. See, see <laughs> well, after, yeah, after, 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 let me tell you, after this, thing, you are going to go and eat, and it's not called me. So is that inspiration? <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Uh, respiration, desperation. Sorry. Okay. Uh, mm. All right. But but you need to talk to these men. They they really need to. No, you need to talk to him. The two of them. Namdi has said to die. He's him. Talk to him. Mm. Yeah. I'm but, done. Yeah. Well, I don't, know, I don't even know where my boots anniversary. is. Happy anniversary, uh, 12th anniversary. And yeah. this is a special dedication from Mr. Zenas to Mrs. Zenas. Uh, it's from us to the, the couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's also, we are, we are helping uh, our friend uh, Obi sing for Madame. Congrats, eh? Like an angel oh. in the morning, shooting star across the night. The most beautiful girl I've seen. In all my life Every second spent with you It's like a day that starts brand new Girl, I'm so amazed at all the things you do Yes, I want to build my whole world around you So I promise you for I'm around for always And girl, you are my sunshine, baby Don't you go Congratulations, Congratulations. Zenas. Uh, we, we thank you and we thank you for the friendship. Uh, Obi Zenas, I, yes. I can say this, maybe longer than anybody else on this team. Uh, Obi Zenas, you and I have rolled together uh, from Cool FM before Nigeria Info uh, came on uh, on, the, on the Cool Football Fans show um, every evening. That's uh, and I'm talking 2011. So it's uh, nine years. Nine years. Um, certainly, right? That's nine years. 20, yeah. 2011. 2011, 2020. Yeah, nine years. Nine years. Yes, early, earlier 2011. Earlier than Nigeria Info. And Obi Zenas came with us to Nigeria Info. Uh, as as did Joe Baba, two guys, and CY. Oh, my guys. Right, those, those, those three guys, eh? You guys, um, I don't know how to say. Thank you. Many, many other names, but um, where is Ola of Liverpool? He's celebrating somewhere. He should be, he should be, congr he should be celebrating and we should be congratulating. Oh, yeah, Ola. Uh, yeah, very, on, I know you don't do. understand this conversation. No, yeah. Femi, it's happening yeah. next year for me. Um, I, I'm just, I was waiting for the right time to, to announce it, to make it yeah. official. Oh, really? Yeah, it's happening next year and uh, finally, oh. finally found, uh, she, she finally said yes. Mm. And... Um, <laughs> Next year we'll fix the date and we'll, we'll, we'll You fell in love with the spirit. This is your God. Betty, why not your God? Tell so me, wait for it. I'm I'm sure. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for it. Yes. You don't yeah, go, next year. You don't okay. go propose next to year. what effigy will you create? Hello, I'm tired of this single life. I'm tired. I'm tired. All that time with Uniport girls. And you still came back single. Good evening to you. Welcome. Why are you saying hi? I want to beg you guys. We have the great season. At least you end up with happiness enjoying in our faces mm. i want to get them to do something i want to get them to play a very very wonderful music for the receiver for the great thing oh, yeah, for, the joy, for the fantastic football oh, yeah silver is a special player yes don't worry I mean, mm. we're going to miss him oh we will the premier league will miss him yes the premier league yes, will thank you guys thank yeah he deserves it i already played memories Memory. for him yeah. Yeah. Five, five but you yeah. know i mean he deserves yeah don't worry he deserves I, I, I a bit more i was convinced mm. to see the website then the official you mm. know Twitter TV page and I'm sure there'll be a documentary about David Silva. We'll get a plate here at Nigerian Four. Yeah, mm. we're squeezing two more. Two more yep. calls and stuff. Yep. We'll take WhatsApp messages. Hello. Mm. Hello, Mr. Manuel. Good evening, sir. Hi, good evening to you. And uh, the great man himself, 
How are you doing, my brother? I greet you, sir. We greet you. I greet you too. Shuman Nole, the Ryan Meister. Respect to you. I greet you, sir. I greet you too, sir. Sarafina, the lady from Delta. Hi, hi. Good evening. What's so much? Sarafina, I'm one. Okay, okay, Femi. Yes. I am happy that today you are in the studio. I need as I'm talking to you now. I have called this line for more than 50 times. Yeah. Wow. He never went in. I've always tried to call him, but no way. Mm. I am happy that the EPL has come to a very conclusive end today. Mm -hmm. We are all happy. Whether, you, whether you've whether you won the league or not, we are all happy. I'm happy that my team, Asna, did not go to relegation. <laughs> <laughs> How I am one happy. Of <laughs> but, it, but the truth, however, is that uh, at least let me echo this uh, slogan. Mm. One game football without, 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 without COVID-19. Mm. I'm happy about it. Today, we're all celebrating Black Lives Matter. Yeah. All against racism in mm. all ramifications, in all sports, even in every aspect of our life. Today, I will tell you, I am disturbed. Anytime my friend in another club Friday comes on air. Last three weeks, Femi, if you don't if you don't know, you were not in the studio. Mm. Sarafina, uh, no no no, not Sarafina. Ufoma and Buchu were in the studio. Mm. When a man called him from Abiokuta and said his age is seventy, he's an Arsenal fan. Mm. That's the way Friday talks whenever he comes on air is demoralizing. It mm. is a racist attack I can, I, as, far as, as far as I'm concerned. You can't marry my wife for me. I am mean, a, a fan of Asna. Whether Asna is winning or losing, I remain a steadfast fan of Asna. And that's the way I see it. Anytime I call, I don't bloody run down any other team. I know the deficiencies Asna has. I know the and the moment they're able to correct it, they will fly as they will fly. Asna is never known to play ball backwards. We don't pass back. We move the ball forward. And that is why Asna was regarded as the best in the world with entertainment. Yes. But here, any time Friday comes on air, he will leave his own family. As like I said before, you don't have to marry my wife for me. At all. Yes. If I have a problem with my family, it is my family. It is not Friday's own. But Friday will leave Liverpool and comes to just to play down Asna, her fans and even the players. It is, his contributions does not mean anything. But some of us who are Asna fans, we are hot. Okay. Well said. Well said. Thank you so much. Um, you know, Femi is very much concerned. He's thinking of the <laughs> English to respond. Femi might say, you know, this. I'm your <laughs> state, <laughs> your statement. You Femme. say your statement is very palpitating. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we started the coverage yeah. uh, in 2011, <laughs> and, and, you know, and we were engrossed with all of the information. Mm. You know, when you have too many information mm. and you want to share, Femi will come in. And the, <laughs> the scaly work called Kelechi there will just look at me and say, in on the come, in on the come. When you, it means he's go, going to say that I'll never forget this. You know. I stopped doing it at the point because I was like, "But this is not your style." And he would come in and he would look at the weather situation and say, "It will be 15 degree precipitation." <laughs> I don't know. We just shake our head. I did that for like two months. I said, "No, the precipitation." <laughs> I never ever included that, oh, that term in my, in my commentary, but it was important to him. <laughs> just say it's, it's 16 degrees. Well, he'll go with the precipitation. It, I don't know, man, but so you've got it. You know, you know what precipitation means? I know. It's, it's, it's it, the it weather means, condition. It means, no, it's not the weather condition. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> so that percentage, that's, that's how much possibility of there to be a rainfall, a rainfall yeah. during the match. Mm -hmm. So what it does, it tells you. So yeah. so you have a sixteen percent. You have a twenty five percent chance that there is going to be rain going on in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes if it's higher, mm -hmm. if it's uh, fifty percent and higher, yeah. then you know. Even if you start on a dry pitch, yeah, you um, you are going to see see rain. Yeah. Now in climbs where 
people follow the game. Like, it's like even when you play PS, mm, when yeah. you play the game on a rainy day, the game is different than when you play it on a dry pitch. Yeah, you, you know oh, yeah. all of that. Oh, so, yeah. so those yeah. things, those things are important. But you, you, are, you are right. I think yeah. people probably they, they don't, don't care know. what the weather uh, condition they, they, they is. Tell me, they don't know. Having come from a family, go ahead. Yeah, having come from a family of rainmakers. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought you should have educated yeah, the man. I'm, I'm okay. trying to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would take him to a corner and I would <laughs> no, I would take me to the corner. <laughs> corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I went to Bonnie Island. Mm -hmm. yeah. he has it's a, it's a short story. Too, I went to Bonnie Island. You left Bonnie Camp and went to Bonnie Island. Don't leave me, family. Don't leave me. I went by air and um I knew it was not going to rain. Hmm. So uh, I got to Bonnie. It was the Amayanba football tournament. Yeah, so okay. Went to do uh, uh, commentary that. for that game. <laughs> Nostalgia and, um, for Chuma. <laughs> <laughs> it was Abia. I went to Chuma with Abia. Uh, uh, to Abia with Chuma, by the way. So <laughs> uh, to like Chuma it. with Abia. He's <laughs> <laughs> confused. He's so, confused. So, 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 His gods are confused. <laughs> so so it was going, it was going to rain, yeah. and and the king, uh, King Pepo, the great, the one and only king of Bonnie Dapa Island. Pepo. Yeah, Dapa yeah. Pepo. Uh, called me. It, it just tapped me and said, "Is it more? I don't want rain." Mm. I said, mm. Mm. Uh, "I said, don't worry, King. There's not going to be rain." And I went into my chambers, Femi, and you know, I I I brought my inner my inner. I don't know why I allowed out. this guy to go to Botakos in the first place. And, and there was no Femi rain. I, I'm, I'm just I'm just sick. people don't know how important yeah. it is to <laughs> have a dry I, I, dry grass. I actually agree with him. Yeah. yeah, please, please, and thank you for the education because they need it. If you could just use some of those your powers to marry a wife, we'll be okay. For me, next year, okay. it's happening. Okay. Good, so find just, a woman. Eh? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, yeah, Lasso or now university. Uh, yeah. Now Lasso, I'll give you the point. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this boy has a thing for university. <laughs> It only yeah, it's a problem somewhere. It's an institution of learning. It's, uh, you want to teach them what? <laughs> Marriage is an institution. Shame on you. Final caller <laughs> before Seraphina wraps up with WhatsApp messages. Hello. Yes, please. <laughs> Ima Joba, back on the Okay, line. all right. Give Juba, me a final caller. Go ahead. Ima, Ima, I, I, I don't need to revisit that last caller's No, I did. Femi was going to mention it, but go ahead. But in all honesty, yeah. in all honesty, mm. even the greatest Liverpool fan that I know, that you know, Ima Latifa, uh, Brimo. Yeah, I know her. And all that big Liverpool fan, they don't talk down on us like this. I don't need to mention anybody's name. You've mentioned but it. Them is Friday. We are we are throwing banter. No problem. But they there should be a limit. All right, fair enough, Femi. Yeah. That's how we wrap up about the four lines. You want to say something about those? Who think well, I, Friday is, is too extreme. Well, I I agree. Uh, um, to a point, I agree yeah. to the fact that you know, yeah. um, emotions you know can run high. Yeah. True. So um, every game, sometimes you. You have to remind yourself that it's a game. A game is a game. Whether it's a football game or it's a draft game or Ludo game. Oh, yeah. It is indeed that, sure. um, a game. Mm -hmm. um, so, first and foremost, uh, um, one thing that's synonymous with most games is yeah. that banter. Mm -hmm. banter. Banter comes, goes, but banter can also become very extreme. Trust me, I know that. And we've yeah. seen extreme... Yeah. We've seen extreme banter before. Mm. We've seen people fight, stab each other in a game of draft, no in a game of Ludo, sure. um, even in football. Mm -hmm. Remember the um, Arsenal fan years ago mm. yeah. who was stabbed the mm -hmm. through the head, through the eye, and that knife lodged in his jaw. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was an Arsenal Chelsea um, thing. Uh, yeah. um, you know, back in school, there was mm. a time where we were watching football mm. and then people started shooting and everybody had to, you know, in a, you know, one of these um, viewing centers, yeah. you know, and things got out of hand. Somebody said something and somebody got angry, fight started and shooting started and all of us r ran away and left the match. <laughs> um, so, yes, banter can get, you know, out of hand. Mm. Um, I, I, I often, the, there's a reason why I try not to go overboard i also ask myself is you know uh what would you want people to do to you what do you want how do you want people to treat you treat them that way um so, uh, and just be fair however it's both sides I, I if you ask me i think friday or friday i'm not going to single friday out the one because <laughs> because there's there has always been you know there's been Again, the Friday thing started as Friday versus CY. Elijah, these yeah. are very 
passionate guys about their about thing. So teams, yeah. it started about the two of them. That's how it started. Yeah. So if it's good to understand context. Yeah. So they used to trade banter and the banter used to be heated and you could you could you could see it coming mm -hmm. amongst amongst themselves. Uh, and then it has uh, um, at the point and people are different. Uh, see why uh, broke off the thing himself uh, for it not to get too much because but <sighs> you see we are different and our approach to uh, to things are different i i i would are we going to sanction friday from calling into the broadcast? no no That's no we, what most no, we want. Want. no we oh, won't we no we won't no no we won't as yeah. long as he does not involve in hate speech hate speech okay. yeah i i don't I, I i i don't see hate speech is something that you know society shouldn't tolerate I haven't seen evidence, but I, again, I have been here yeah. less time, Sparingly. less times than than yeah. you guys. Um, In football broadcast, family, yeah. what 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 connotes a hate speech? What? Well, in, in, in football, football, it's yeah. hard. It's hard to yeah. for hate speech to start in Say football. Saying Arsenal are the most useless team in the world as a Liverpool that, fan. Is that a hate speech? That's um, no. that's bants. That's bants. Okay, it that's is bans. not. It's not hate I'm just, speech. I'm just trying to educate those. Who uh, yeah, I mean, if you are saying yeah. that they should gather all Arsenal fans and go and throw them in the river, yeah. Yeah. then no, that that's, that's extreme. No, that's, that's, yeah. that's extreme. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. okay. but you know this. I've never said any of this. That's you know, I I, yeah. I better pass you. You can't match. My record is better than you. Look at United and celebrating all of top four. Those yeah, are not hate the same thing he said. You know? yeah, he said about you. Yeah, he said you. I'm very happy. This top four. You know. At the same time, too, I do not make light of the uh, emotions of those yeah. people Trust who me. feel hurt yeah. Yeah. and I, i'm just going to uh, um appeal to my very good friend friday uh, yeah, you know sometimes yeah. you know emotions people people process uh, information differently yeah you know Correct. some people you Correct. can bant they, they yeah. like yab people call comedians to beg them to say please yab me and some people, if, if a comedian yab you you will yeah. leave that show and yeah. you'll never take that nonsense again True. because you're, you're you are not like that if you are the type that gives you take do you understand yeah. if, if you okay. if if you if you are constantly banting every other person yeah. so you can take it but if it is not your style you mind your business you don't go some people just mind your business if you remember femi yeah. and the gang in the heydays yes I, I remember there was a member of the team who approached me and say oh god i don't want this crossfire yes. and i wanted crossfire i didn't i the way i set up for me and the gang yeah. i wanted the gang to argue i didn't want everybody portraying the same side so i i kept saying yeah. you guys should not all agree in fact one of the member one member of the team was very great and people did not know that yeah. we agreed that somebody should even though everybody sees this thing and it is white you come and say it's black present another perspective which yeah. was but you know there was, there was at least one member of the team who didn't like it who said i don't want to banter you argue you argue don't counter me mm. was, you know mm. but, but i had to settle that so you know it wasn't even banter just countering yeah so there were there are some people who just don't even like to be countered let alone uh, some people uh, throwing so, shades yeah. at them as a kid so okay. i i would i would just implore let's tamp it down let's tamp it down and let's okay so, so that it doesn't go overboard it doesn't dis devolve to uh, to hatred yeah. and all of that we've seen yeah. um uh, very bad things happen in football yeah. uh, venues in the past oh, yeah. uh, english fans versus russian fans and uh, 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 fans of you know different english clubs going against this is why we each even other. pushed that campaign one game the one game football thing without you know yeah. football without violence yeah. let's be friends and all of that yes bands are important too it will be boring without the bands yeah so we're not saying friday i'm sure you're still listening you understand in, you know, in draft they used yeah, to we're tell not you change your style they used to tell you if call. you don't want to be yap don't play draft don't play, yeah. Yeah. because yeah. one of the hallmark of playing draft is that mm -hmm. they will yab you do you understand yeah, so um but we can't say people should not play football. But let's, let's just respect one another. I beg you now. Sir, I've had five messages on WhatsApp and we take out Guangoro and leave you. So while she's about to take the messages, okay. ahead, do, do I say never let your emotion cause commotion? Because hmm. that may lead to a demotion, hinder your promotion and limit your locomotion. Inside so the no, notion. No, so, so yeah, I believe you in this life. Mm. So no matter mm. how happy or sad you are, don't allow it because you do something that you live to regret. Especially, and I'm saying this because you, this is yeah. something connected to people's emotions. Oh, when your team loses and somebody's yabbing You don't want, you don't want yeah. to. You don't want no, you, you, no, sometimes you need to understand. Yeah. And I say this. Huh. I got cured from football the day Nigeria lost to Italy. I was so heartbroken. I was having nightmares for days. Yeah. And I know at that mm. point... I just told myself never again never again will i allow any football team do do this to me mm. because it really broke my heart 
Some people are not where I am. I don't care. I, I, yeah. I yab Real Madrid. Real Madrid is my team. Yeah. I yab them more than most people. <laughs> I, I, I praise Barcelona, uh, you know, uh, um, I, w against them. I think my, I always say Real Madrid is just full of rubbish. <laughs> do you understand? But at the same time, I, I rejoice with them. I'm happy to do that. Three, if I don't do, if nothing else happens, the fact that Madrid won Champions League, you know, back to back to back, and I don't really care about any other team. It's just that we had one on Barcelona, you know. But it's all bans, you know. And let's leave it like that. So I, I don't let it affect me, and many of us here don't let it affect us. We yab oh, yeah. ourselves oh, more off air than we do on air. We yab ourselves a lot here. Yeah. Um, but we take it, maybe because we are friends and colleagues yeah. and all of that. And then sometimes you don't want a perfect stranger who you don't know. Yeah. But sometimes we want to have events and all meet together and shake hands and say, look, it's nothing personal. And uh, hope that, you know, nobody gets assassinated for things they said about another club or gets hurt yeah. and all of that. So just to remind those listening that United are in the Champions League. So let's take... Those comments. Third now. position. Yeah, Very third important. position. Third. Above Chelsea. Yeah, above, above Chelsea. Let anybody say that. <laughs> <laughs> Before we start another war, go ahead. All right, on, on so, WhatsApp. So, so it means yeah. it's, it's yeah. Liverpool, Man Manchester, City. Manchester, and London. Yeah. London. Uh, London and the from, dominance is in the north. Yes. Yeah. It's in Manchester. So Liverpool, Manchester, Manchester, yes. Manchester, London. Yeah. We are stark in the Champions League. We are stark. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> King in the north. Uh, as always. Okay. On WhatsApp, uh, this one says, Hello, guys. It's Hi. great to have you all in the studio. I hope we can have this more often. It's it's like an eclipse. It, mm. it, it, reminds, we'll me, it reminds me of the first 2011 coverage. Mm -hmm. Cheers, not too much. This is from Toby. Um, Hi, Toby. Thank you. Good evening, guys. Um, Why do you laugh? You're laughing now. <laughs> don't talk. They don't yab me. 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 It was making reference to Friday. That was why I laughed. Skip the Friday talk. Yeah, that's why I laughed. Okay. It's a finally lingered scores after a year. Well, glory, 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 my United. So Man United overcame all their entanglement with fifth position. Mm, entanglement. Gide is the sender as, as of, you did there. <laughs> of, of that one. Uh, this one says, Chide Bere, the mouthpiece of the gods. Mm -hmm. You're welcome back to Lagos. What are the gods saying? God bless Femi and the gang. Steven is too. the sender of flesh, that flesh. The gods are only saying things. Uh, good evening, guys. To we Manchester United fans. She Especially Sarafina. God no go shame also. Amen. Thanks for always being there, guys. You are the best football commentary gang in Africa. Shegun from Ikorodu. Mm. Um Okay. Lots of Friday messages here. Nice. No, yeah. Just one more yeah, and yeah. we begin to wrap up. Okay. Uh, this says good evening, guys. Hi, yeah. Uh I'm happy. Um uh, my darling Manchester United won and made top four. Please, all those saying the Oracle should go are wrong. Yeah. I just like him. No, sir. 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 Says, greetings, house. It was a thrilling and fascinating end to the season. Hoping to see the football world return for another season. I think for those crucifying Friday, banter is allowed in football, and there is why there is competition in football. Just play well, he says. Adepoju Abdul Wahid, thanks to you guys for your fantastic job from the beginning of the season till the end. I pray that may the Almighty continue to strengthen you for us and make you happier than you have done for us. Thank you very much. Raphael says, appreciation to at Fadji official, at Femi Kul FM, at MEF, at Chuman Noli, at Namdi Kuba, at Fina Napoleon, at Chideberi. They don't forget your Twitter handle. What's your Twitter <laughs> handle? Chidi underscore maestro. Is it more of sports? Ch at Chidi. Choose one. At Chidi <laughs> underscore <laughs> maestro. Waiting. Just no search for Ezemo. Yeah. yeah. At, at Foscolo and the rest of the gang for the good work throughout the season at Nigeria Info FM. Memories bring memories, he yeah. says. Thank you very much for that. Uh, quickly, Motaza. Motaza. Miki Yusuf says, uh, Femi Obong Daniels, talking about one of the Europa places. You said that Wolves... Wolves should pray that Arsenal should not win the Europa 2019-2020 uh, season. How did you forget Wolves can win it as well? Uh, sure, sure they can. Yeah, you know, uh, just permutations. Easiest route. Permutations. Yeah, yeah. Royalty says, Oga 
Chuma Nolly, calm down with the emotion, the motion thing. Feel <laughs> rhymes. <laughs> he says, rhymes they are feeling you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jadu Wahid, uh, Mr. Femi, I'm a fan of uh, Liverpool FC. Since UCL final in Turkey, I did support what Friday does concerning hate speech. But I believe if Arsenal is doing well and Liverpool is doing otherwise, they will do the same to us. Believe me, he says. I think he meant to say that I don't support anything. Stephen John says, Chai, inside life, Leicester City is the perfect epitome. Uh, mark the word, Chidabere, epitome of unseriousness from second to third to fourth <laughs> and then fifth. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, my show. Uh, well, Cook Boy says, I want to ask if any, ask if any one of you, if you ever moved from one club to, an, to another, how did you do it? What was that word I said again? Epitome, me, Femi. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I forgot you are a wordsmith. Yeah, Femi. Yeah. It, Somebody yeah. that went to school. <laughs> yeah. I can't school, Femi. I and then use his degree to go and do juju. <laughs> <laughs> I traded it, Femi. I had to it. <laughs> For the culture. Like binary. <laughs> For the culture. We got to go. Um, yeah. so Sarafina, have here. we been kind to you? Have we been with you? Have we stayed with you? Please, don't stay with me to eight o'clock. No, see the one who will stay with you, Brownish. It's okay, yeah. it's, it's yeah. here. It's in the building. Um, yeah. I actually sent him a message to come. <laughs> Give us one. You know I love pictures. Mm -hmm. I said she come okay, and snap to us take pictures. take one, one shot. Mm. Yeah, one, one for the road like this. Him? Ah, and it's yeah. a take pictures. No, yeah, no, yeah it's good. It's good. It's good actually. It's Brown good. Is Sabio. It's good. Seriously, yeah. the it's person good. that's Abu is Sam. <laughs> Who says? Bran is good, but Abdul is. Have you seen yeah. Bran? Is like take Abdul us. is a dog. I, I, I take us right. first. Let me yeah. oh, oh, take. I'm a witness. Oh, no, why, why we, go the, we can't be taking pictures and there's dead air. I don't, don't trust be dead air. We we'll keep us. talking. Let Put me use this something. moment to remind those tuning into the broadcast because I mean, <laughs> uh, money is necessary. Yes, Tiger so. Witch, they're listening to the broadcast and they're quite excited with the coverage. Uh, just a reminder that those who want to come for the training or on online currency with Tiger Witch uh, can text. Tiger Wits, that's T I G E R W I T, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. send it to 080 90 9084. Again, 080 90 9084. If you want to learn uh, trading on online currency with uh, Tiger Wits, the financial technology firm founded with the aim of bringing technological solutions. Mm. To the financial industry they are friends and they've given out two authentic liverpool jerseys yep. um wish the guys who answer the questions today all the best yeah and, and that friendship is just starting oh, watch yes. out watch out for that friendship oh, next oh, season oh, oh. and again what value it can add to you for me it comes down to value yeah. um there is value mm -hmm. um that uh, the friendship and again um in the season's break we'll be sitting down yeah. with the team yep. uh, and having conversations as how uh, because, look, they are the first, um, you know, this kind of finance um, organization that okay. really I, I, I've seen that I've gone to enter into a partnership with a big club, one of uh, England's one of biggest the top teams, and, yes. and perhaps the biggest in the last two seasons. Sure. They, 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 they won the Champions League last year. They won last the Club season, World Cup. This won the Club they, World they, Cup. They have the big and trophy. They, they are right now the yeah. biggest thing in England. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Um, so congratulations to that. And for me, it's how mm. our football fans can benefit, benefit. from this partnership, mm. this relationship, because it involves investment. Sure. My own is that I am made if an international organization with reputation, yeah. I, and I, I say this with all my heart, I've always been somebody who wishes that um, people will have the chance where you can put your money somewhere mm. and make profit and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I've I've had a few disappointments here and there where I I really yeah. you know wanted people to benefit from um, something and then the benefit just didn't happen. Mm. Yeah. But what makes this? I, I'm not endorsing this because they are global. They're international. They have a reputation. We know where to catch them. They, mm, you yeah. know mm. they 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 are international. I they mean, if you're a, if you're a partner of Liverpool. Yep. Just like the it's bank, the big bank yeah, has yeah. been for years. Yeah. Uh, standard chartered. Standard chartered. Yeah, uh, um, yeah you, you, you can't uh, mess up. My own is, how can Nigerian lovers of football benefit? Yeah. benefit? How are the people, how can the people who listen to Femi and the gang yeah. benefit? And that's what we'll be working for, for the new, Campaign. for the whole season. season. And yeah. we'll give you information. Absolutely. Yeah, do we have our photo? We, uh, we, we, you, we, we need to stand. To we need, yeah. No, no. Why do you, you want to I don't no, know no. how I feel. No, now. no, no, so no, no. no. Wait, I'm going to say something. Not gonna work wait, like wait, this. Hold on. No, I'm not going to have the pictures now. Someone is speaking. Yeah. 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 Say, Ima, 
Are you not supposed to be listening to the People's Republic movement? Someone is at a door, by the way. I won Football Republic just yesterday. I won it just yesterday. Before they go see, which is Kali one that I employed from the British station. He said, ah, okay, man. Republic. Why go wear Republic yesterday? Where for it today? I said, what's here? This one don't come right. Don't see my picture yesterday with Football Republic. I said, see what you say. I knew this guy would be lawyer. What should be your number, sir? It's four. That's oh, okay. that's that's March fourth. My date yeah, of birth. So mm-hmm. I always use four. I'm five. I, yeah, you, you know, I didn't think of it. I'm actually oh. May five, but oh, you see, that's not that's, that's not the reason five. why I have five. That's five 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 five. five, 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 five. Somebody, somebody that went to school. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom, wisdom. Brown, I don't know. It was Moke that put five on my own. I didn't know. That's that's a wonderful Brown. thing. Yeah. Brown, he could go, go give me trends number yeah. thirty-six or so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So it's been a, an absolute pleasure. Yeah. We've, had, we've had great fun. United are through to the Champions League, and yes, I'm excited about it. Okay, mm. you can't stop me from being happy. <laughs> United play Champions League football, and our coverage won't cease with tonight's broadcast. There would be the Champions League coverage. You know how we do it on mm-hmm. Nigerian yeah. films. Certainly, yeah. you know certainly. Do. You know we don't sleep, even you know when football takes a break. You know how we do, man. Do, do, game do. on, oh, the game yeah, continues. The game continues. Yeah. Game continues. Yeah. Yeah. So this thank you very much to entertain you. Yes. Oh, ye Oracle, thank you very much. Let me shall be well with you. Uh, I'll <laughs> have to take Imana to the corner after this game. Yeah, man, after this broadcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to do to him. <laughs> Namdi. Yep. Um, I'm happy. Yeah. I think all the tension paid off. Mm. It um, it 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 it's good I was watching Chelsea's game. Yeah, uh, yeah. It gave me joy. <laughs> so, shout out to the teams that qualified. Shout out, I think for me, the, the biggest joy was Aston Villa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not even United. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, Aston Villa. Now, Grealish so can leave happily. I'm, I, I'm, yeah. really, I'm really happy uh, for them. I agree. Sarafin She's still here. I love you, man. Hmm. You love him? Yeah. I love, I love you too. I love. Okay. I love you. <laughs> uh, Chumality. Chuma, I don't like your face. How many words? Just five. All right, Mary. Mm. Thank you guys for giving us the power. Oh, to Lord. control your radio in the last couple of an hour. Oh. I show you we'll never let our commitment sour because we treasure it like a rose flower. Tomorrow we'll be back in action like 21st Jack Bar. But for now, I'm off to take an evening shower. Which guy Oracle we write this? Yeah, nah. Oh, you can shoot me. You can shoot me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Chuma, I have to. Chuma, I have to be my PA. Chuma, I'll be paying you. I'll be paying you, Chuma. Mm. You want to pay your boss? Head of content. Wait, you'll pay him. No, no way. Head of content. We're going to be paying that because What's this by golf now, Chuma Alpha? Food day this evening. A spiritual man is a physical food. I know, I know. Even the gods eat. The gods Even eat. the gods. Yeah, Imano. That's Imano. a line. It's pleasure. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a great coverage. I enjoyed it. If United had lost, I would have left, you know, before the final issue. And mm. yes, even if we were streaming, I would have left the studio. <laughs> uh, but it was a great win. Um, DJ... DJ Sass didn't do too well during the celebrations oh. last they night. With yeah, they scammed us with No, he was uh. talking traffic. He wasn't talking traffic. It was at the house. They had technical issues. Oh. Um, uh. Yeah, they had technical issues. It was obvious, but Femi doesn't understand this conversation. Yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure mm. being on, on Nigerian for today. And I just remembered, as I was uh, sitting down here, I yeah. just remembered that <laughs> we, uh, me and uh, Best, Best is, oh, well, we don't know Best, producer. Best is our yeah. producer. Nigerian for producer, oh, yeah. great nice. guy, amazing guy. Yeah. Nice. So uh, um, he, he did one um, song. It was actually something for coronavirus. Okay. We worked on it t- uh, together. Virus. It's just to, um, just to um, tell you, don't worry. Yeah. No matter how bad it is, we, we, we will get over be this right. period we'll, we'll, we'll be, be fine right. together we'll rise as one so yeah. he he and i did that yeah. um together mm. I, I don't remember ever remembering to play it oh, okay i don't remember ever i don't know it just came to my mind now okay. uh but so we would leave we will leave you yeah. with it as we thank you very much our broadcast continues we are femi and the gang and we love you from the depths of our hearts and we'll never ever um, take you guys uh, for granted. You. We will not take yeah. you for granted. Yeah. Sure. We won't leave you. So I think I was going to say something. Were you indicating to say something? She wants to remind them that she's still she's here with yeah. um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we leave. That's what it means that we are not gone. No. Yeah. We are still here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Serafina and Brownish. Yeah. Um, who else is joining? Is Sam joining? No, Sam needs to go. Uh, Todd Milan Bridge is closed. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, uh, good luck to you guys so for Monday. Oh. Yeah. But, but don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we love you. <laughs> bye bye everyone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>